Hello, everybody. We're back. We're back here on Call of the Wild. I did some late night grinding last night and uh, stacked up a bunch of fives in the main zones, as you can see, because I, I hate to say it, but I was wrong. You guys were right. There was solo level fours that showed up. I don't know how it happened. I don't remember shooting any solos, but maybe some of the ones I thought were part of a herd were actually solos. Because uh, there was some solo fours right here. Two of them. Two solo fours were chilling right here. And uh, yeah, so I got them shot down. Um, one of them's a big three. Another came back as a small three. So it looks like we're good now. Uh, the fives were popping really fast. I was able to get the four fives stacked up in just three runs. So I think we're going to be good to go now. I think we're going to be good. How's everybody doing? Hope you're doing great. Uh, Henry, Jeremy, Jake, Schrader, Courtney, uh, Sway, Kinetic, Damien, Levi, uh, Goggy, Newt, uh, Bebop, Ziggy. We got Garrett. We got Hud. We got Mets. We got Liz. We got Goat. How's everybody doing? How's everybody doing? All right, let's get this run started. I had to reintroduce one of these zones over here to get enough like kills per run. Uh, after I shot down the solos, it made it so I could do this again and get another one going. Thankfully, though, it didn't take too long to shoot down the uh, solos. I only had to shoot. Um, oh, we got. Is that one I'm supposed to leave? I can't remember. I feel like that's one I need to shoot as well. Okay, uh, it's past 13, so we need to reset the time just to make sure they're not going to dip out of here too early. We got to get it tonight. We do. We got to be so close. There's no way we're not. We put in so many kills since our last one. I feel like it's got to be happening. Uh, do you know what my bear grind was like, Connor? I think I've already had some bad luck. <laughs> I think the bear grind was enough bad luck for me. <laughs> Beautiful. All right. Two down. Is wiping zones okay? Um, it depends on the situation, right? If you don't mind going and having to find it again, then that's fine, but... Just know that whenever you wipe a zone, you will have to go figure out where it is again. Because it will end up moving. Uh, usually not too far, but they will move. Boom, 254 to start the day. That is our first uh, diamond of the day. Uh, softest, hey dude, how's it going? Um, quick question, do you save level 5s and rares? Just started my first grind for Fallow. So I end up saving the fives in one situation. And the only time that I save the fives is whenever... Now, that actually depends. Are you talking about stacking them for herd management? Or are you talking about, like, taxidermizing them? Um, if we're talking about taxing them, because I do herd management and see quite a few level fives, I only tax the diamonds that are unique to ones that I, like, don't already have. Uh, if you're talking about stacking... Oh, stacking? Okay, so for stacking, what I end up doing is I will stack fives in my main zones. Like, the zones that I primarily want to grind. So, like, this is one of my main zones. So, I'll stack uh, fives in here. And then once I've got enough fives stacked up in my main zones, what I'll do then is go around to the rest of my zones on my map. And I'll just keep rotating on the rest of the zones, shooting them down till they're uh, twos and low level or uh, low scoring threes. So that is what I do with the stacking. The only purpose of stacking really is to drive down the average score of the respawn so that you can shoot down the rest of your map. I have found that that works out really well and I zeroed him properly there. Feels bad. Well, not gonna get full score on him. Feels bad, man. I think we got one more here as well, so let's get the other one shot down. We do love the chocolate level fives. They are beautiful. Love them, man. But anyway, I hope that uh, like explanation of stacking them helps out. 
Hey, Sky, how's it going? Hope you're having a good day. Yeah, no problem, man. No problem. And yeah, that's the that's the thing about grinding in Call of the Wild. There is so many different ways that different people do it. Like, uh, the way that I grind is definitely completely different than what other people using herd management uh, do when they grind. Uh, even, you know, different to people that don't use herd management. Definitely so many different uh, ways that people do their grinds. Did you hear about CJO's botch great one? It was a saw silver rack or a saw saw rack silver. No, I didn't see that. Oh no. You tell me CJO got his second great one and he botched it. Oh no. What's been up with his streak, man? He botched the bear and now the uh, fallow as well. Poor CJO just getting hit with the bad luck. Hopefully he can end up getting some luck to turn around real quickly. Would definitely be nice to see him on a good luck streak with short grinds and some like very memorable, amazing shots. <laughs> oh my gosh, B. Jones. <laughs> my gosh, B. Jones. <laughs> How's it going, dude? <laughs> good to see you. Holy. Sorry to bother you, but I have another question. Oh, no worries, man. It doesn't bother me. Always happy to answer questions. Do I stream on Twitch as well? I don't. I used to. But whenever, whenever the YouTube started popping off better than the Twitch, I kind of just congregated over to YouTube because more people were over on YouTube that can actually watch Call of the Wild. I've noticed that Twitch has a much more limited Call of the Wild fan base. And I think part of it is because YouTube has no limitations on uh, age, right? So you have a lot of kids that watch Call of the Wild content on YouTube. And on Twitch, it's like 13 and above, so there's less of an audience. And YouTube's got, like, everything in one space, so I think more people just gravitate towards it for Call of the Wild. Because you got the lives, the shorts, and the videos. But there definitely still is a decent chunk of people that like Twitch. You're currently at 1780? Jeez, Liz. I'm just a little bit above. I'm at 1,976 for this grind. Video short that was scheduled for today was also titled something like best aim in Call of the Wild. Ah, CJO. You know, that's what happens. You get full of yourself and then you mess up a great one. Rest in pieces, CJO. You will be remembered. You will be remembered for double messed up great ones. Although I can't really say anything. I've messed up great ones before too. We need to get CJ Owen on uh, one of the like Glocka Croc challenges since he did a uh, Croc related video. Definitely need to get him in on the uh, the action. Hey, Clay, how's it going, dude? Hope you're doing good. Got a Mellow Roo last night. Nice, Mario. That's awesome, man. Congrats, dude. So these are the other two fives. One of them is really nice. This guy is a big rack uh, white variation. Definitely excited to see what this guy will score. Um, I probably need to shoot up in the air. Because I think if I 22 trick at this range, I might spook them off. Actually, no. They did go attentive, but he's far enough back where I got to shoot next to him. Nice, we got them both. Beautiful. Astro plays. Thank you for the super chat, dude. Got a mellow Roo, but sadly butchered a level nine Roo. Oh no, man, that's the worst. That is the worst. I ended up butchering a level five Rusa recently off stream. Luckily, it didn't make it, so that was good. Two sixty six max weight. Let's go. Not the two seventy we're looking for, but that is a big one. That's a big one right there. Beautiful. And 253. Beautiful. And that should be the end of our run. Yeah, I'm trying to remember what else I moved around last night while I was trying to find um, 
When I was trying to find where those solos were going, I had to move so much stuff around for like two plus hours last night just chasing two solo fours around. It was so annoying trying to chase them around, but you know, it is what it is. Got to do what you got to do. Butchered my first two level five sandbar, still no diamond. I've been hearing a lot of people have had trouble with the sandbar in terms of like them just not making diamond. I've had really good luck with sandbar, but almost everybody I've talked to has been trolled by them constantly. And I, I've got lucky enough that all my fives have made it throughout early access and throughout the live uh, build as well. Unfortunate though, man. Those sandbars seem to be... Both sandbar and rusa seem to be a little troublesome with the diamonds. Same with kangaroos as well. A lot of these Australia species troll a ton. Except for Bantang for some reason. They give an abundance of diamonds. I didn't knock it bored of grinds. I'm also, or I'm almost 2.2k kills and can only go for like two runs before getting bored. I mean, it's a little bit different for me because I'm doing like full-time content creation with it as well. So it's a little bit easier not to get bored when I've got a chat to talk to and I know that I'm making content out of it. It helps motivate me a lot. Uh, but another thing that I really like to do is I set a lot of side goals for myself while I'm doing these grinds, right? So... Even though we're grinding for the great one, since I'm doing herd management, I'm also setting goals on stuff like super rares. I'm setting goals on getting specific racks to score a certain score or higher. I'm also looking for super wonky diamonds. That way there's more to achieve, and I was zeroed wrong again. That is the second run in a row where I was zeroed incorrectly at this zone. Feels bad. Oh, they were not trolls. They were botched ones. Got you. Second moments with the bow. Have no idea how to use it. Gotcha, man. Yeah, I'm not great with the bow either. Last time I used a bow, I ended up spine shotting. Well, actually, it wasn't the last time. It was the it was two times ago. The second to last time that I used the bow, I spine shot a great one whitetail. So that was rough. But I feel the pain, man. It happens, though. It happens. Emerald trolls. Yep. It's uh, it's great. I love the amount of trolls. Ow. Dude, chill. Why are you running me down? There we go. Alright, let's see what this big boy would have scored if I hadn't have messed him up. I think this is a diamond four rack. Ooh, it was close. Almost a diamond four. Jeez, man. Put in the good old pelvis. Oof. Not where you want to get shot if you're a deer. Yesterday got a five medium fallow deer. Nice, Tristan. That's awesome, dude. Congrats. First ever great one today. Got two great one fallow today. Dude, two in one day, Dylan? That's insane. You know, the fallow deer are the first great one that I've been hearing like multiple people say they got two of them in one day. Like that was not a thing with moose or red deer or the bear or the whitetail. Like, it just seems that the fallow deer, with them being really easy to hunt and on average having pretty low grind numbers compared to others, it's made it so for the first time we're seeing some pretty insane stuff happening throughout the uh, grinding community. Definitely crazy. Okay, I feel like I can stop hunting the zone. I haven't seen anything there in ages. Oh, thank you, Softus. I appreciate that, dude. I really appreciate that, man. That means a lot. Don't have anything over there. What would you say is the average for Moose Great One? About the same as Fallow, man. 500 to 1500 on average. But obviously, that can vary. Uh, but it, it is like 500 to 1500 usually. What map am I in? I'm currently on Tiawaroa. Where's the great one? I mean, we're missing a herd. Could be a good sign. Let's see if we can get the other one to pop up. 
My gosh, we got Cole and Sam here. How's it going, Sam? How's it going, Cole? Sam, are you are you ready for the Cheta album tonight? My gosh, I'm excited. 9 p.m. my time. I'm hoping it's going to be good. In the tweet that he put out today, it sounds like he's going for like... Kind of like his OG sound. Which is cool to hear. Definitely got me excited. That was perfect timing on the song. I know, right? Gotta love it. Can you zoom out on your map so I can screenshot as a guide for my grind? I've got a video for that, Mr. Crucify. I've got a video that shows all of the, uh... All of my map. Where all the, where all the zones are and everything. I don't recommend copying a setup from anybody because your map is going to have different locations where your need zones are. So copying a setup is not going to help you in your grind, unfortunately. What will help you is the uh, zone map that I've got in my last Great One Fallow video. Got all my zones marked down, and what I would recommend doing is just checking all those areas, seeing which ones you actually have zones in, and then setting up your tents accordingly. Um, I don't know if I'll be able to, bro, bro. I guess it depends on how much I'm able to get done with Fallow Deer today. I really want to push for a great one because it has been a while since we've had a great one Fallow. About to hit 2,000 kills. I'm just hoping this isn't going to be a 3,000 kill grind like Ibai had going. I think Ibai is currently on a 2k grind as well. Poor dude's getting screwed over. Yeah, for sure, bro, bro. I will if I, uh, if I get done. Oh, 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 gosh. Oh, no. <laughs> Every time. At least I got him claimed. That's all that matters. You guys heard Softest. If you haven't already, be sure to like the stream. It's completely free and it helps out the creator more than you guys could imagine. A while since getting a great one for Scarecrow is like three days. I don't measure it in time frame because I know that I tend to put in more hours than most people are able to. Um, so I, I try not to measure it in days, right? I try to measure it in kill count. And for Fallow Deer, 2,000 kills is a pretty long grind considering how many people get them sub 1,000. This is starting to feel like uh, our last few Whitetail grinds. No, it's not a matter of that, Cole. It's a matter of um, the reason that we have the chat set to English only is because in the past, I've had people come in here and spam like slurs and racist stuff in Russian. And obviously, I don't speak any language aside from English. So that's why we've got that rule, Cole. Because there's some people that will use like language barriers, right, of the creator to get through stuff that isn't allowed in chat. Right? So they'll say, like, bad stuff that I personally can't understand because I only speak English myself. So that's why a lot of chats throughout Twitch and YouTube, in fact, the majority of streamers, usually have it set to only the languages they know how to speak. For that reason, you know. Sub 1000, really? I'm at, like, 400 right now. Could be close. It's always possible, man. The thing about the Great Ones is nobody really knows exactly how they spawn. The only thing we really know is that there's a possibility that herd management could increase the chances, but if it does, it's not a ton. Um, but on average, I've seen most people get their Fallow sub-1000. Not sure why, but there's certain Great Ones that seem to spawn quicker than others. Like Red Deer and Black Bear are usually a pretty long grind compared to something like a uh, moose or the fallow deer. And then whitetail have always kind of been in the middle. But yeah, a lot of people get their fallow sub 1,000. I know a few people where it's took a few thousand, but usually it's under 1,000. My first four were under 500 each, which is insane. I don't think that... I don't think that's necessarily normal, though. I think my four grinds that were under 500 were definitely very lucky. Yes, it's the 
Uh, Javier, thank you so much for the super chat. Really appreciate it. So you need a Spanish-speaking mod right here. <laughs> okay, I gotta say that's a smooth way to pitch your application for moderator. That is a smooth way. I'll give you that. But I really only give moderator to, like, close friends of mine. Close friends are people that are uh, pretty well-known in the community as moderators for other content creators. But I do appreciate the offer, man. And I appreciate the super chat as well. Very kind of you. Oh, that's a big boy. Yes, we're finally getting the fives to pop up again. So it was just those two solos that were screwing us over, I think. Because now we're getting fives again. Love to see it. So at this point, I've got every single solo shot down to a three or below. Um, with only a few of them being like large threes, the rest of them are small threes and below. 266, let's go. Wow. So we had a max weight estimate white fur type scoring 266. Now we just got a max weight chocolate fallow deer scoring 266. That is insane. Like that is, that's almost scary how close those two are to being like the same deer. That's crazy. The only difference is one was the chocolate, one was the white, which are both like uncommon. So that's honestly kind of cool. If this scored a little bit higher, I'd be taxing it because I do need a really high scoring chocolate and white fallow deer, but I'm trying to aim for 268 or better. That's still really awesome though. Such a uh, cool deer. I'm so happy they redid the fallow. They're so much better than they used to be. What's my biggest fallow? I have a 270. Uh, and I actually ended up getting it first day, I believe. First or second day. Can't remember which one. But uh, I got it really early in the grind. But two or three level fours screw up my HM or not because I've got one diamond last 300 kills even though I got ma ma majority small threes and below. Um, a few fours can mess it up from what I've seen. If I hadn't have just experienced that right, I'd probably say that it shouldn't have an effect, but it definitely had an effect for me. Because the second I got those fours shot down, I was able to get some level five spawning again. Okay, that's what we need to shoot. One of them always comes back as a small buck, and the other comes back as a decent buck. You have to claim the animals? Yes. Uh, from what we know, if you want a great one, you do have to claim everything. Or at least the majority of them, right? Missing one or two here or there isn't going to kill your grind, right? But uh, you definitely want to claim as many as you can. Jaxie Beard has kind of hinted at the fact that it's going to negatively affect your grind if you just leave them. And throughout the community, we've kind of noticed that if you don't claim them, uh, the people that don't claim and do like complete no claim grinds tend to never get their great one or take like 20,000 kills to get it. So claim as many of them as you can. It's very important for spawning your great one, it seems. And obviously, I'm sure you guys don't want to be wasting time when you're grinding. Got to make sure you're doing everything you can to get those great ones to spawn. What would I consider a small three? So a small three is, well, that. That's a small three right there. This is what I consider a small three. Perfect timing, actually. That guy is a small three. So I would leave something like that if I was still shooting down the map. But since this is a main zone, we're going to kill it. Couldn't really get a good shot in there, but that's why we use the 300. Takes them down pretty quick, even when I make a bad shot. I might need to implement uh, one more zone into the grind because I am noticing uh, not all of these are respawning instantly. So I think we need to kill a couple more per run to get the spawns acting a little bit more reliably. The question is, what zone would I implement into the grind? Because I don't know which one will be the best. Hey, Dame, how's it going, dude?
Are most of your Great One Whitetail? Yes, I have 27 Great One Whitetail. Uh, four Great One Fallow Deer. Five Great One Moose. Uh, six Great One Red Deer. And no Great One Bear, sadly. Maybe one of these days. You don't grind all your zones? Uh, no. Not for herd management. So, with herd management, the way that I do it is... I pick, like, ten zones at the max that I'm going to use as my main zones. And whenever I start my grind, I pick out those ten zones as I'm finding them right. Whichever ones seem to be the most reliable. I kind of start out by hunting every zone on the map. And then I slowly narrow it down to, like, which zones are the most reliable. And then once I know which are going to be my, like, ten main zones that are super reliable and always get their respawns pretty quickly and uh, are never, like, missing them, then what I'll do is... I will start to stack level 5s in those main zones that are super reliable that I want to make my final grinding zones. And any other zones, I'll try to stack 2s and low level 3s in. So, at the beginning, I'm grinding everything because I'm trying to stack up 5s in the main zones. I'm trying to stack up 2s and small 3s in all of the other zones. And then, as you get further into the herd management, uh, you'll be able to stop grinding some of the zones because you'll get all 2s and small 3s in them. And... Once you've got like all of your main zones stacked up with fives and you've got all of your exterior zones stacked up with twos and small threes, then I will go through and shoot all the fives out of my main zones and just start rotating on only those main zones. So at this point, we're only grinding a few zones and just repeatedly going through all of them. Yeah, no problem, man. Of course. And also, if you want more information on it that's a little more detailed, I've got a few different herd management guides. Um, I've got an entire playlist that's dedicated to herd management for different species. So, uh, if one of the moderators or members could drop that command in the chat, that'd be amazing. It, uh, it should have a ton of information that'll hopefully help you out. Boom, there we go. We're about to hit 2,000 kills. We're currently at 1,997. Yeah, like right here, we didn't get all of our respawns back. We're missing one buck there. We were missing a buck over here. Uh, we need to add one more zone in. Honestly, I think we can implement this zone, over, like one of these zones over here back in. And I think it's going to be this one. I want to use that zone again. I like that one a lot. You got cheesy bread? Nice, Nissa. That's awesome. Yeah, he did, Sattler. He did get one. He did indeed. Got my first magpie diamond. Nice, dude. That's awesome. Congrats, man. The magpies are nice. I do like the magpies quite a lot. You think tonight will be the night you get great one fallow number five? I hope so, man. We're pretty far into this grind. And uh, I finally got all the zones like situated again to where we're spawning tons of fives. So hopefully tonight will be the night. Hopefully we'll get lucky. I swear to God, if I get another super rare before we get another great one, uh, I'm going to be, <laughs> I don't even know. I'm going to be blown away for one. <laughs> That would just be ridiculous if we get another, another super rare. That would just be crazy. Got a mellow magpie, but no diamond. Saw level five that really doesn't want to come back. I'm like, mine like, gosh, I can't speak right now. Um, my experience with the magpies on my map has been the exact opposite. I've got two level fives that I've killed. Uh, one of them was a troll leucistic, unfortunately. And I missed a Mela, and I can't find it. I have no idea where the Mela is. But I've got one somewhere on my map. Uh, we need to swap out... For the blind. For anybody that did not know this, I just discovered this yesterday when I was streaming. These little blinds right here, 
you can place them really, really close to the tent, like closer than a tripod. It's like, look at this. I can place this right here, which makes for like super easy entering and exiting of the blind. It's really awesome. Really, Hunter? Why'd you do that, man? There we go. Evan, thank you for the membership, dude. Really appreciate it. Enjoy all the perks that come with that. The emotes, extra Discord channels, scrapped uploads on the channel, and all the other cool stuff. Thank you so much, man. Really appreciate it. Uh, yeah, you can name the loadouts with the uh, three dots like next to it. Just click uh, rename or clear inventory, and it'll change the name of the current one that you've selected. So, it's pretty sick. Like, I can change it to Whitetail and Fallow. Uh, however, it doesn't allow you to use that, so that's unfortunate. Whitetail Fallow. There we go. It's pretty cool. Honestly, I'm pretty happy with their system for doing... What's it called? Loadouts. I like them. I think they did good with them. Hey, Blitz, how's it going? What's the kill count? 1,997. We're getting, we're getting in there. We got ourselves a long grind on our hands. I just realized I forgot to re-equip my, or did I? Hold on. Okay, I did re-equip it. I was going to say, did I? I, I? I guess I did. We might eventually add that zone back in, but I'm not 100% sure. We'll start by just doing the one we're standing on. He's right behind her. Ah, oh, man. Tough. Tough luck. We're going to hope that was good. Enough to take him down. He should die. Uh, just not exactly going to be the quickest death, sadly. Well, how are you spooked off? Uh, that is the one that I need to shoot, though. Because we are re-implementing that zone into the grind. There's that one. Have a level one on my main, should I kill it? If it's in your main zone, yes. You don't want them in your main zone. You want to get uh, as many shootables in your main zones as possible. So yeah, I would get rid of it. I would definitely shoot a one that shows up in the main zone. No, Caleb, I just can't see every single message, you know? 430 people in here. I can only see so many messages. Just grinding for a diamond white tail, 200 kills in. Y'all are lucky. I mean, I wouldn't call it necessarily luck for me because I'm doing herd management. So I'm going to see more diamonds than what you would on average if you're not doing herd management. So it's not necessarily all luck with herd management, right? You're increasing the amount of diamonds you see drastically. She's doing good, eh, Rod? She's doing good. Okay, yeah, go for it, Caleb. Go for it, man. Kills per hour. Uh, we're getting about 75 to 85 per hour, depending on how cooperative my zones are being. Yeah, like 75 to 85 an hour. Which is honestly the highest kill count I've been able to get this entire fallow grind. We really got this run down. Should be one more buck here. Yep, there he is. Whoa, what the? Um, where did that guy come from? I mean, can't complain. That's an extra deer in my, uh, 
in my main zone. That's awesome. <laughs> I mean, the thing is too softest, right? Um, aren't you hunting the whole map? I think based on based on the question, if I was hunting the whole map, I'm assuming you're hunting most of the map then. That's like actually the main reason that I condense it so much and try to focus on just the most reliable zones is to get those super high like kill per hour uh, hours. But also remember, at the end of the day, there's no right or wrong way to play the game, right? Whatever way you enjoy the most uh, is the way I would recommend. Whatever you like doing the most is what you should do. Am I going to listen to the whole album tonight? I'm assuming you're talking about the Cheddar album. Yes. I definitely will after the stream. Whenever he drops it, which is still a few hours for me. Unless you're referring to another album. I, I, I can't remember if I've mentioned any other album, though. I think that was it. The only wrong way is with a backpack. <laughs> yeah, because it increases that spook range by like 30 meters. Is there a wrong way to get great ones? Like a way that you really can't get a great one? Yes, if you're not claiming your kills. As far as we know, that's the only way where you're going to make it so you can't get a great one. Because uh, there's there's been a lot of people that used to grind without picking up anything. They would only pick up the uh, the diamonds, right? The diamonds and rares. And so they would sometimes go 20 or 30,000 kills without getting anything. And eventually people start catching on like, okay, it seems that you have to claim everything if you want to get a great one or at least claim the majority of them. So that's really the only way that you're going to completely void the chances of getting a great one. And I guess if you were only shooting females as well, that would also be a way that you couldn't get a great one. But as long as you're shooting males and you're claiming them, you're going to have a chance at getting a great one. You should be fine, uh, Wolf Beast. That's kind of how I did it for Whitetail, right? That's always kind of what I've done. If I end up wounding something and it doesn't die quickly, like if I have to track it for a long time, chances are I'm going to leave it because it's a waste of time to have to spend like five minutes chasing down a wounded animal. Uh, in that time, I could have shot like six or seven more fallow deer, you know? That's kind of how I see it there. Gotcha, Mozambique. Gotcha. I, I do remember you. I do indeed. Nice, Bryson. That's awesome, dude. Right, let's see if there's one more here. There should be one more buck, I think. Nice, Jay Frith. Yeah, that's uh, always a fun thing to do. Bow hunting the big animals is probably my favorite way to bow hunt in this game. Like, bow hunting things like bison, cape buffalo, the elk, and the moose. Definitely fun. I don't do it too much, but it's primarily just because... I do a lot of grinding, and I can't really grind with a bow, or at least not effectively. I do know one person that is doing a fully bow-only fallow grind, though. Which is honestly impressive. I could never commit to something like that. <laughs> that would take so much patience. I'm 3,200 kills into my Red Deer grind. Any recommendations? Just keep shooting males. That's really all you can do. And uh, if you want to, you could always do herd management. There is a chance that it could help Great One spawns. We don't really know for sure. It's kind of just speculation, but there's a chance that it could affect them. So if you want to, like, uh, I guess, gamble with that chance, you could try that as well. Okay, this is looking good. I think we got enough in here to where they're respawning properly. Thank you, Catherine. I'm glad that you enjoy the videos. That is awesome to hear. Okay, that spooked. Okay, so we're going to have to start at this zone then. Because they're spooking off. So, yeah, we're probably going to have to start at this zone. 
Kill the one over there. Fast travel, pick it up, and then kill these two over here. Because for some reason, they are running, which isn't normal. Do rares affect great ones? Not as far as we know. Because I've got a few different great ones. In fact, quite a few different great ones without getting a single rare. Most of my, like, really short great one grinds, I didn't get any rares. So I don't think so. Uh, Fallen One, thank you so much for the gifted membership. Congrats to, uh, John for getting that membership. Congrats, man. Enjoy that. Enjoy it, my dude. How do I get a rare? I already have three diamonds and play the game so much. Rares are random, Ziggy, so there's no way to increase your chances of getting a rare. Uh, on average, they seem to be every 300 to 500 kills. But I've gone as long as like 1,500 kills without a rare, so... You can totally get on some pretty rough streaks there. A-Rod, thank you for the one month, man. Welcome back, A-Rod. Welcome back. Oh no, Evan. <laughs> ah, feels bad, man. YouTube always getting you with the... With the, the time-locked name changes. I see it happen, happen to so many people. Something back there. That looks like a buck. Yeah, that's a buck. Got two piebalds and four diamonds on 400-ish kills. That is definitely not bad. That's a pretty good little kill to trophy ratio. Which way is faster to get a great one? Shooting all males or HM? Nobody really knows, to be honest. Because... We're still unsure if herd management affects great ones. I'm starting to think that it does for certain species. But not all of them. But the thing is... There's so many people that do herd management that don't get their great one any quicker. Sometimes even longer. But the other thing to take into account is the amount of time it takes to set up a herd management grind. Uh, Fallow's definitely the lowest of any species in terms of setup time for HM, but even with them, it's like 30 plus hours to start seeing any type of results. So it depends on like how you count it, right? Because the setup time definitely adds to the amount of time you'll be hunting. And if you weren't doing HM, you'd be at a much higher kill count before the setup process is done with uh, HM, so... Depends on how you look at it, in terms of, like, speed, I guess. On what you mean by Morse. On, like, what's faster. And depending on who you ask, they'll probably give you a different answer. Opinions on adding mouse and keyboard support on console. I mean, I'm all for it. I feel like uh, everybody should be able to play with mouse and keyboard if they want to. Because on PC, we can plug in a controller if we want to. Yeah, A-Rod, it does take a ton of time to set up. It definitely does. One of those things where if you want to put in the time that it takes to set something up, you get rewarded. Can you stack more than two Great Ones? Yes, uh, I've stacked four Great One Whitetail once. Pretty sure iBuy has done the same. There's our buck right there. Keyboard and mouse can be played on console, but not for Call of the Wild, right? Pretty sure they don't support keyboard and mouse on console for Call of the Wild. If there's no deer or whatever you're hunting, should I go back to bed? I mean, that's what I do. I reset the time if there's nothing here. Like, right now, my bucks are not there. So I'm going to reset the time. And boom! 
There's at least one of them. Don't float. Okay, we're good. He didn't float. I was about to be mad if he floated. Oh, gotcha, Cole. So technically you can, but it's just like not an easy, fast process. It's like a multi-step process to get it working. Some games ban players from mouse and keyboard. Gotcha, okay. That makes sense. I mean, I could see that being a thing, like... Like, let's say a game like Call of Duty, right? I'm sure that they would probably do that if, uh... Actually, no, because they got cross-platform now, so... Yeah, I think I do know of some games that have done that in the past. Where they limit your uh, inputs that you can do. No respawns there. Feels bad, man. R6 does that? Got you. That makes sense. There's one of them. Actually, two. I think there's two. No, that's not a second. Okay. That's just him. There's always a chance that they just move to another zone that I'm hunting, though. It's because it reduces hunting pressure, uh, Jacob. It reduces hunting pressure, making it so I don't accidentally delete a zone that I didn't want to delete. Wow, no more males over there. Okay. So I think we are just missing a few respawns. Unfortunate, dude. Do you think they should add a great one axis here? Maybe, but I think there's other ones they should add first. Nothing there. Yeah, no problem, Softus. Thank you for dropping in, man. Hopefully everything was super helpful. Do I play on keyboard or controller? I play keyboard and mouse. As I do play on PC. Robin, thank you for the membership. Really appreciate it. Enjoy all the perks that come with that, the emotes, extra Discord channels, scrapped uploads on the channel, and all the other cool stuff. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Great one, Croc would be great. Oh yeah, that'd be awesome. That would be awesome for sure. I think a great one, Crocodile, could be like... Probably one of the most fun great ones to go for if they ever do that. That'd be really cool. Quick little reset. We'll see if we can get him there. There we go. Oh, didn't hit close enough. There we go. How about a great one mule deer? Great one mule deer would be amazing. Like, absolutely amazing. Definitely one of my top five most wanted great ones in Call of the Wild. For sure. Thought they took out the 22 trick? No, they didn't. Uh, there was a bug for a while where the 22 AR wouldn't do the 22 trick, but they fixed it after a little while. Nice. We're now 2,018 kills. Jeez. Uh, Caleb, thank you for becoming a member as well, dude. Really appreciate it. 
Enjoy all the perks that come with that, the emotes, extra Discord channels, scrapped uploads on the channel, all the other cool things. Thank you, thank you. Could they backfill Mule Deer on Layton? Or do they not live in that region? I mean, Mule Deer live in Oregon, right? And Washington and Oregon are very similar states, right? But the thing is, I don't know if Mule Deer live in Washington. I'm not too familiar with what Washington has for game animals. Um, but I know for a fact that in Oregon, Mule Deer are primarily in like the eastern half where it's more dry and arid. Oh, I was zeroed wrong. So I don't know if it would fit in uh, Leighton Lakes. It'd be cool. I mean, they might be in the mountain ranges as well. Maybe. They might be in the mountains as well. No, Leighton Lakes is based in Washington. According to the, uh, like, storyline of it, I believe. I can't remember if it's the storyline or the, the description of the map, but one of them uh, mentions Washington. I'll be zeroed wrong for that zone. I know. I just can't break the curse. What am I doing to where I'm always zeroing wrong there? <laughs> I don't get it, man. Do you stream every day? Uh, for the most part, yes. Uh, usually there's one or two days a week that I take off, but for the most part, I stream most days. Nothing there so far. Oh. We got a mail back in this zone out of nowhere. That's why we were missing one. They're starting to spawn here again. I mean, I suppose that's a good thing. But it definitely caught me off guard. Now we gotta place our blind down again, because the, uh, the beavers smoked it. Yeah. Freaking beavers, man. Those beavers. They're just so rude. Let's save this. I mean, I can see why the beavers took it down, but still, chill. We're now at 20, 20 kills. This is beautiful. Not exactly the great year to be at, but, you know. Uh, Unga, thank you so much for the membership. Enjoy all the perks that come with that. Emotes, extra Discord channels, uh, scrapped uploads on the channel, and all the other cool stuff. Really appreciate it. Worst year. I know, right? The worst year. In a way, though. It was the worst year, but it was also the best year for me because it's the year that I started my channel up seriously in Call of the Wild, right? It's the year that my channel started growing. So for me, I actually have pretty fond memories of 2020 because that was when I was building up my channel off of Call of the Wild. So it uh, it does have some good to it. There There is some good memories for me as well as the bad memories. Nicholas, thank you for the three months, man. Hope you're doing amazing. What the? Nothing respawned here. What's up with that, eh? Our respawns are just being stubborn, apparently. Feels bad, man. Maybe we need one more zone. I don't know. Ten diamonds away from 300. Nice, PA. That's awesome. Great one, maybe. 
Maybe we got a great one there. You never know. This zone's been super reliable. Getting its respawns super quickly. Hey, Lep, how's it going, dude? How many zones do you shoot after herd managing the map? Uh, usually between like 7 and 10. For fallow deer, at least. Each species is a little different. Dude. Why are they suddenly spooking? They shouldn't be. Uh, we may, we might need to move some things around. They're dying over here primarily anyway. Drop that there. Drop this over here. And now we're good. Hopefully. How do I do my setup? Uh, like, how do I set up for a grind? Um, it's a very long explanation to like go over every detail. So I'm just going to skim over like the basics. Um, I hunt every zone, find as many zones as I can while I'm hunting them. Set up on the best zones as well as having a few tents for the bad zones. Hunt all of them at the same time. Try to shoot down all of the zones that I don't like to twos and low level threes. Stack fives in the main zones. Keep doing that until I've got all of the non-main zones shot down. And then I just dedicate every tent to my main zones and try to do as many like claiming tents as I can. I make sure to put all my stands and stuff very close to my tent so that I don't have to walk far to get to them. Lots of little things like that to save time. Hey guys, I zeroed correctly this time. <laughs> I remembered! <gasps> Sorry, bro! You're gonna run into me, I'm gonna run away from you. That's a decent buck. What rack is that? I could make it, but I don't think that's the one that makes it. But just in case, we'll smoke him real quick. Are you 2k kills since the first Great One Fallow or since the last one? Since the last one. Uh, we're at like 3,700 almost in total. But this particular grind is at 2,024. Yeah, that guy's not going to make it, unfortunately. What is Fallow drink time? Fallow drink time is from 10 to 13. How do you tell the difference between the racks? Just seeing them so many times and remembering what they scored last million times that I killed them, right? Takes a long time to get to that point, but after a while, I just remember what every single rack scores on average. Nothing else there, eh? Our zones are being weird, man. They're being weird. Hey, Tony, how's it going? Hope you're doing good, man. Hopefully it comes soon. Yeah, hopefully. We got some weird respawns happening. Like, they're not being cooperative. I don't know where they're going. Either just not all of them are respawning at once, or maybe they're delayed? 
Like maybe they went to no other zones even? Who knows? Big boy four there. Only one male though. So weird. So freaking weird, man. I don't know where the rest are. It's in a solo zone. No, it wouldn't like these are not solos that I've been shooting, so they can't come back as a solo. Um, solos can only come back as solos as far as I know. And I believe herd animals can only come back to herds. From my experience playing, at least, that's how it is. Oh, he probably dumped it off at my house instead, Sam. He was like, oh, Sam's on this receipt. Let's take it to Crow instead. <laughs> Sixty-nine more kills and you'll get it. So you're thinking when we get to 2094? Okay. I'll remember that number. Of course I zeroed wrong for that one too. <laughs> yeah, Sam. <laughs> that would be wild. That would be wild for sure. Where's the other male from this zone, eh? He just disappeared on me. Gonna move this tent, because I think I know. Okay, Hunter, move, bro. Yeah, now the tent is showing up on the map on top of the blind. Okay, that's going to be much better, man. Much, much better. Hey, Johnny, how's it going? Glad to see ya. What is the best map for a moose grind? Uh, the map that I would recommend is Medved, however... Revontuli is also really good. What do I use to keep track of kills? I use an app on my phone called Click Counter. Works really good. Nice, Snoop, that's awesome. Any tips on how to get a diamond? Ah, uh, there's a few different ways you can increase your chances at diamonds. Um, I would recommend checking out some of my guides on the channel as they go more into detail than I could right now. Uh, the biggest way is herd management, though. And then there's also multiplayer hopping to hot spots that you know are always going to have lots of animals. Got guides for both of that on the channel. If you want to see exactly how to do those just jump into the uh, guides playlist to be able to show you everything that you want in there all right so we got all of the bucks back here this time this is our fifth kill of the run as long as I can kill like eight fallow a run I'm pretty happy like seven to eight uh, if we get up to 10, that's great. But I think with our current setup, this will be fine if we can just get a couple more. I mean, diamond count and great one count isn't a judge of whether or not you're a good hunter, uh, Kylo. That's, that's not how I judge somebody being a good hunter or not. There's no such thing as a bad hunter in the game, right? As long as you're having fun, then you're a good hunter. Because at the end of the day, that's all that matters with a video game, right? As long as you're having fun. Yeah, let's get the 10 fableds in chat. 
I think we need it at this point. Let's see those ten fableds. There's another deer back there. I don't think we have four does here, do we? Maybe. Oh, that's definitely a doe. I can tell by the colors. That is a doe for sure. That's for sure a doe, man. Hey, Rocky, how's it going? Hey, Ryan. How do you do 10 fabled? Uh, with the little emote button by the chat box. If you're a member, you should be able to see it and do the emotes. Oh my gosh, it's a Caitlyn. How's it going? How you doing? No buck back here. So weird, man. Some of these zones, they just bounce between. It's so strange. Was hoping no one would notice. We noticed. What is up with this, man? I guess we'll pop one dough here. But like, what's up with that? We're missing some respawns for sure. Rip the dough. Oh yeah, she uh, she's getting a uh, a frustration bullet. <laughs> she's getting one of those frustration bullets. How do you get the sanctuary? The sanctuary is part of the new map. So as long as you own the new map, you can go to the sanctuary. The sanctuary is at the uh, the top of the map. At the Opal Point Sanctuary. Uh, Outpost. Josh, thank you for the membership, dude. Welcome back. Hope you're doing amazing. No, you cannot shoot the animals in the sanctuary. You can't. <laughs> yeah, hey, Rudd. Yeah, I saw that, uh, Caleb. Or I didn't see it, but I heard about it. Heard lots of people telling me yesterday. Hello, little feller. Only one of the uh, herds was there, so maybe we'll have another shootable. Nope. No other shootables. Oh, well. It is what it is. Bram, thank you for the membership as well. Welcome back. Hope you're doing great. And, uh, Drax, thank you for the membership as well, dude. Enjoy all the perks that come with that, the emotes, extra Discord channels, scrapped uploads on the channel, and all the other cool stuff. Thank you, thank you, thank you. My longest vital hit is 540 meters vision by using the elevation, the elevation trick, where you can stand at the top of a very high mountain and shoot down. And because the game renders distance by, like, flat distance across the map, any elevation does not get taken into account when rendering things in, so you can actually get some pretty insane long shots. Best way to do it is to go to the mountains in Silver Ridge Peaks. All right, let's see if we can get uh, one more buck out of this zone.
No? Maybe? Nope. Okay, so no respawn there. Ah, oh, man. I just feel like we're not shooting enough a run, and I think that's why they're being so weird. I think we're not shooting enough per run. Big boy there. That's fallow number three of the run. Number four. Nice, Newt. Nice. Yeah, I think I'm going to have to implement some zones back into the grind again. Question is, will I need to shoot down some of the other threes to even smaller threes or twos uh, if I do that? Hey, Cooper, how's it going? Yeah, it's definitely not working super great, Johnny. I think I need to... I, I do feel like I need to kill off a couple. So, like, I want to try and find some zones that have threes in them, maybe, instead of twos. Yeah, NASCAR, there's nothing that says you can't or should use HM, right? It's all personal preference, right? If you don't want to use it, you don't have to use it. It's just, like, a different way to grind. You can totally bypass it completely if you'd like. We're not hunting crocs today, baseball. We're hunting fallow deer. If you want some croc hunting, check out today's video. That's a solo, so I don't want to shoot him. Okay, let's see. If these uh, threes right here are part of a herd. If they're part of a herd, we'll shoot them. If they're solos, we got to leave them. There's one of the zones from one of the threes. Okay, so... That is one of the threes. And then this is a three as well. So let's see if they're solos. That's a herd. Okay. Solo. Okay. One of them is a solo and one is from a herd. Okay, interesting. Do you guys what do you guys know what estimate that was that I just spotted on the top of the hill? What estimate was that one that I just spotted on top of the hill? Because that's the one that's part of the herd. So I want to kill him. Do you guys see it? Or no? Oh, hey, we got two back here. It was 112 to 153. Got you. Okay. So we will try to remember that. Because, yeah, we only killed six of them that run. I definitely need more in my rotation. Six is not enough to really keep the spawns being reliable. Otherwise, they just act weird. No, it shouldn't affect it, Will. Taking a break, it's going to leave it off wherever you were. It's not going to negatively affect your grind. So it was 112 to 153. Okay. We will remember that. Because that's the one we want to shoot. Nope. 
Now, uh, just to clarify, that was the one I spotted after I fast traveled as it was about to run over the hill, correct? Just to make sure we're on the same page. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, perfect. Just making sure. Just making sure, man. There's a chance that it was too big of a uh, three anyway, and maybe I needed to shoot it. Oh, hey. We got two here this time. Oh! <laughs> I didn't mean it! I'm sorry, buddy! I didn't mean it! <laughs> Oh, man. No, it's not albino. That's a white fur type. <laughs> I can't believe he walked out in front of the in front of that shot. Oh, my gosh. That's hilarious, though. That is hilarious. Hey, little twos. And the turkeys. <laughs> Poor dude got toe-tapped. 187. No, because it's a video game, Scott. So, no. Never before. It's just you, A-Rod. It looks all smooth on my end. What is my dream trophy? Typical rack, great one, whitetail. And I still just can't get it for the life of me. I want it so bad. It's probably why I can never get it. We are now at 2040. Lots of big boy fours over here. You will get it soon, I bet. I hope so. Hopefully soon, dude. I think I see antlers. Yeah, there we go. There's some antlers. 218 and 187. Oop. Ah, <laughs> uh, got him. Is there a color variation to Great One Whitetail? There is, but they're all like proper rares, so. Not only would you have to get a great one to spawn, right? But then it's like a one in couple hundred chance of getting it to be a fabled piebald albino or mela, so. The odds of it happening are like basically none. I think there's been less than 15 ever confirmed to be legitimately obtained. Nothing there. Uh, the map right here is Tiawaroa. Nothing there. Come on, give us the goods. No, there's been a few killed on PC and there's been one that was killed on console recently, uh, Evan. That was on Rev on Thule, so we know it's different than the original one. There's been at least three of them that have been killed during the last, like, six or seven months. 
Okay, so that's our solo right there. 129 to 170. Ah, man. That's the one we want to kill. Uh, no, Stephanie, we're not killing all the males. We're doing herd management, but I'm implementing a new zone into the grind, so got to kill this three. Uh, there's no lag on my end, guys. It's probably a YouTube thing because I'm not dropping any frames at all. Bitrate's super smooth. It's not on my end, I can tell you that. So there's nothing I can do about it. Nothing that I can do about it, man. It's YouTube being YouTube. If you guys are getting lag, refresh the stream. That's probably the only thing you can do. It's probably a YouTube problem because half of you are not lagging, it seems. It's definitely a YouTube thing, I would say. I'm not dropping any frames at all. And I've got a very steady bitrate going. No, I don't think they are trolling Dr J uh, Drax. There is issues that can happen on YouTube's end that'll only affect certain users in like certain parts of the world. Like, uh, let's say East Coast and West Coast. Some people on the West Coast may experience it and then people on the East Coast won't, etc. So there probably was some uh, issues going on. Robin, thank you for the five gifted dude. Really appreciate it. Really appreciate it, man. Congrats to Cooper, Brayden, Nissa, Eli, and MH Soda. Congrats, guys. And thank you once again, man. Holy. And I also can tell you guys there definitely was some lag problems for some people because we dropped like 70 viewers after the lag spike. So that is a clear sign that some people were running into lag. Most likely it was a YouTube side issue, or a YouTube sided issue. YouTube with the struggles as always. There's a big boy five. Big boy five in the building. Did my membership run out? It probably did, man. Uh, gifted memberships only last one month. So if you were a gifted member, then it probably has expired. Well, we got both respawns back here, so that's a really good sign. Or all three, technically. Because of the zone we were just on. I think adding one or two more into the grind was probably a good move. Two fifty-five chocolate, beautiful. Mentalis, thank you for the two months, dude. Welcome back. Thank you so much. Will I shoot the next great one by hip shotting it with a thirty thirty or forty-five seventy? The thing is, lever actions have such a bad accuracy level with hip fire that I don't think I'd even hit it probably. I'd probably completely miss the animal. I'll do it with some of the handguns that are more accurate with hip fire because I know I'm at least going to hit it. It'd be tough with a lever action. There's no guarantee I'd even hit the trophy. You should do a fallow grind on Hirschfeld, and I'm actually in the midst of doing one on my no DLC playthrough, so at some point, we will get back to that. Uh, no, Lakin, I'm actually married. Hey, 
Aim for lungs, hit the rack. You know, it does happen sometimes. I had that happen on one of my piebalds, actually, which was quite tragic. Oh no, Chope. That's insane. 3.4k. Jeez. Well, I wish you luck. Hopefully you end up getting it soon. That is a long grind. Definitely not fun. What are the feed times for Whitetail? Uh, to be honest, I don't know. I don't really pay attention to feed times that much. Not much of a feed time hunter myself. Six K kills in G's Evan. That is wild. Six K kills into a grind is crazy for any grind. That's a lot of kills. Oh, hey, now we got to respawn back here. So that's kill number seven of the run. I'm hoping that we can hit like eight to ten. That'd be crazy. That'd be really nice if we can. I'm assuming the respawn from this herd went to this zone. I think that's what happened there. Well, at least uh, we got another one to shoot. So we got seven total on this run. If we can get two here, that'll be nine kills. That would actually be really decent. I'm happy with getting like nine kills a run. Eight to ten in that range, I'll be happy. Yeah, two males. Perfect. So that'll bring us up to nine this run. Oh, and also, guys, I got to pick up my rifle today. They got done with the whole background check and everything, and I was able to go in and pick it up. So I finally got my rifle. Hey, Jake, how's it going? No need to spam, man. Just got to say it once. Hey, Jennifer. What caliber? I got a uh, 6.5 Creedmoor. It's a Savage Model 11 in 6.5. Pretty decent rifle. It's got a super smooth bolt. Feels really nice. Uh, really excited to get out and shoot it. I'll have to figure out a time that I can. Right now I'm just so swamped with... Uh, Right now, I'm just swamped with the channel, so I don't really get too much time to, like, go out and shoot. I'll have to find a time that I can, though. That gun shoots straight? Yeah, it, usually Savage is pretty good. Usually Savage makes some pretty good rifles. And that's why you picked it. I just really wanted a 6.5 Creed more. It's a caliber that I've always heard good things about, and I've always thought it's really cool. And I just wanted one for, like, deer. So maybe one of these days, sometime within the next couple of years, we'll do some deer hunting with it. You're not wrong, Barley. You're not wrong. Uh, literally just a couple days ago, I had like four videos. Like I had the footage for four videos all prepped in folders, ready to go and be edited. Um, that's like the videos you guys have seen go up recently is all the uh, backlog of content and stuff. Um, I still got at least one more video that I got to edit and uh, get uploaded. So yeah, there's a lot of it at the moment that's kind of... Uh, on standby waiting to be edited. Nice Colorado time. 
Yeah, I've heard that 6.5 Creedmoor is really good for like uh, deer and antelope and goats and stuff like that. And also, I wanted to get it because it's one of my favorite... It, it's always been one of my favorite guns to use in Call of the Wild. If I just want something that's fun to use and sounds good and... You know, 6.5 has pretty decent long-range capabilities, so... Figured it would be a fun gun to own. Now, let's see. Astro Plays, thank you for the super chat. Just got a Lucistic Rue hours after the Mela. Nice, dude, that's awesome. Congrats. Nothing over at that zone, man. I wonder. Do we potentially uh, got ourselves a great one there? Probably not, but sometimes that's what it means. Uh, Nicholas, thank you for the super chat, dude. Last year, bought a Savage 110 Tactical 6.5 Creedmoor, and it's amazing. Ooh, that's awesome, man. I think they had that rifle there, too. They had, um... I think they had a Savage 110 6.5 with, like, the Magpul furniture. Oh, my God. Ugh. I was tempted. I was tempted to get that instead, but, like, the gun's extremely heavy, and I was like... I don't know if I want a super heavy 6.5. It's not a gun that needs to be super heavy. It's not exactly the most recoil heavy caliber. So I decided to go with this one instead of the 6.5, like the, the Savage 6.5 Magpul one. Billy, thank you for the super chat. Really appreciate it. Hope you're doing amazing. Hope you're doing great. Thank you so much. And counting how many kills I have... I've got five diamonds, having trouble with herd management on how many zones I hunt and how to get level twos in my zones. Uh, if you watch my most recent video with Great One Fallow Deer in it, I kind of explain like the whole managing down process in that. So I recommend checking that out if you haven't uh, cast a catch. Hopefully it'll have everything you need. What is the best gun in the game? In my opinion, uh, let's see my favorite and what I consider to be like the most one of the most versatile guns in the game is the 308 AR and then the 300 Magnum I would also consider to be one of the best guns in the game because for its class range it is just unbeatable. So I'd say those are my two favorite guns in the entire game is the 308 AR and the 300 Magnum. Just something about them, man. They're really good. 7mm bolt is good too. But, um... I don't know. I would rather carry the 300 and 308 AR combined than carrying just the 7mm bolt action. Because with... We gotta put down a stand here. I'm zeroed wrong. Man, we're doing great with zeroing wrong today. We're doing so good. Man, oh man. We can do the stand right here, or the uh, blind right here as well. These blinds might be my new go-to for anything that doesn't need elevation to see them. Pretty great. Oh, yeah, for a beginner, for sure, 7mm is a good go-to, but... I guess in terms of, like, my needs in the game, I consider the 308 AR and the 300 to be the best for me. They're definitely my go-tos. Super reliable and fast-firing and powerful. Great all-around rifles. But if I'm in multiplayer, there's a lot of times where I do choose the 7mm bolt action. Because of those, uh, the, like, extra class that it gives versus the 308. And just the fact that in multiplayer, I'm not necessarily trying to shoot a ton of animals. I'm just looking for diamonds and rares. So, 7mm, and I crashed. Don't grab the calls! <laughs> I forgot that that bug is a thing right now. 
Bailey, thank you for the super chat again. Should I shoot single zone males when running around looking for zones for Fallow if it's a level four? Um, if you're doing herd management, yes, you need to shoot those solos down to twos and low scoring threes. If you're not doing herd management, you can totally ignore the solos. Though I would recommend killing level four solos just because, you know, it's a level four, so. Uh, no, Zane, if you're not doing herd management, there's no need to stack your, uh, there's no need to stack things. It is not needed if you're not doing HM. Well, that little crash is going to kind of throw off my groove. Now we're uh, starting a run at this zone instead. Hey, that's a five as well. <laughs> and a little puny three. Beautiful, we got him. What's the average number to get the Great One Moose? Usually about 500 to 1500 is what I've seen on average. Hunter 11, thank you for the super chat, dude. Finally got my Great One Fallow, 4,834 kills. And it was the Irish Elk Rack Fabled Hooded. Nice, that's a good combo. That's probably my favorite combo of the ones that I've had. It's definitely a really solid combo. That is crazy, man. Almost 5k kills. That's a wild grind, to say the least. Glad you got it, though. And thank you once again for the super chat. Nice, Fellblade. Nice. You should change it up and play Fortnite. Ah, uh, probably not going to happen. I played it dur during the first couple years, and I feel like it's gone downhill ever since. I don't ever see myself returning to that game. If they would have kept it kind of true to how it was at the first uh, year or so of release, then maybe I'd still play it off and on, but... In my opinion, the game went downhill after they started trying to change stuff too much. You shoot all the deer in your zone that you hunt. Uh, it depends. For some of them I do. For others, I shoot just a couple of them. Really depends. Depends on the situation for that uh, particular zone. Like, for example, that's a huge five. Now, that's not my example, but that's a huge five. <laughs> Could this be a 270? Is that the big rack? No, that's a 50-50 rack, I think. Ninety-nine percent sure that's a 50-50 rack. So it's probably going to score mid-260s. If I were to take a guess. He's floating. No. Stop your floating, bro. Stop your floating. Oh, it's not. Uh, yeah, it is. It is 50-50. 267. Wow. Uh, that's actually a high scoring 50-50 rack. And it was 0 0.02 off of max weight. That might be the highest score I've seen for this rack. That might be worth taxing, to be honest. Uh, because he's kind of... Not only is it mismatched antlers, but... They're positioned differently than the half racks normally are for the fallow. Like, that's a cool deer. I like that a lot. That's a cool diamond. And that's another diamond for the diamond counter. And we had a nice gold there. How to get so many diamonds? With a grinding method called herd management, uh, Pippi. It's essentially just loading your map up with low levels, and then the game has to compensate by spawning in higher levels. So the game just sees how many small animals you have on your map, and it's like, oh my gosh, we need to spawn some stuff to, like... Fill in the gap, I guess, is the best way to put it. Did Fallow get true racks with this update? They've had true racks for over two years at this point. They've had true racks for a very long time. They just got reworked completely with this update. So 
They essentially took all the old true wrecks and completely redid them. So in a way, they got new true wrecks. It has not happened yet, Cole. It will eventually. Um, I think Jaxie's going to be busy for the next week or so. Uh, but it will happen at some point. I promise you it will happen at some point. It's just a matter of finding, like, a good time. Since, like, obviously Jaxie's super busy. Um, I've got a pretty loaded schedule with, like, streaming and videos and stuff like that and uh, parenting and things. So it's just a matter of finding the right time for us to do it. The night that we were going to do it, um, sadly, it was just not uh, not able to work out because not everybody was able to be there at the same time. Nice, Bruce. That's actually really good getting three rares that quick. There's another three right there. So that is our ninth kill this run. Uh, that's actually crazy good. Can we get a tenth? Oh, yes, we can, and it's a big five. Oh, man. Ten kills this run. That's really good. Oh, he moved again. Correction, nine kills because we didn't get him. <laughs> oh, that would be my luck. Yeah, that would be my luck. Alright, we already shot the ones in this zone, so we're gonna go here just so we start the next run at the proper spot. And reset the time just so that we can... Have it set us here when we go to the main menu. Jacob, thank you for the super chat, dude. Been subscribed for a long time, followed your guide, got my first great one finally with my map being shut down, but my spawns have went down from 16 to 10. Should I be worried? Um, I wouldn't be worried, Jacob. Most likely what happened is those other six probably became twos or small threes, and you may have just like overlooked them. I've done that a few times. Uh, they also could have just gone to different herds. And if they were solos, then there's always a chance that uh, they've just moved to different areas. Most likely they've moved or gone down to low levels. Or maybe both even. Level four. Smoked him. We're definitely getting more fives though now, so that's nice. For a while we were getting some really rough, uh, really rough respawns. Like all of yesterday's stream we were struggling to get like the normal amount of diamonds we typically would. So it's good to see that we're getting it again. Uh oh, we got an extra two, I think. Oh no, which is which? Which is which? 111 to 152. Let's see if he's part of a herd. Nothing. What about you? Do you have any drink zone tracks? You do. That's the 101 to 143. Okay, 101 to 143. That's the one we don't want to shoot. That's the one we want to shoot. You are brand new. You get smoked. What makes fallow deer late to their zone? 
it's just the way the game works. Every single animal, there's going to be some groups that are late to their zone. Nobody knows why, but I, I imagine it's probably to add variety and make it harder to predict. Because I can imagine if they were always there instantly, um, it would become too predictable. And I guess most people probably see that as a bad thing. Unless you're a hardcore grinder and just want to be as fast as possible. I imagine they have it purposely done this way so that uh, we can't just farm things super, super speedy. I mean, we could already farm things really fast, but not as fast as it would be if uh, if we could just blast everything instantly because they were always there like immediately when you change the time, right? I definitely think they need to tweak it though. I think for some species, it takes way too long for them to arrive. And then others are good enough. Like I feel Fallow and Whitetail are pretty good. They don't get there instantly, but they don't take 10 years to arrive either. But things like bears, they need to be tweaked a bit. Bears need to be changed quite a lot, I would say. Because sometimes they don't even make it to their zone. And that's just, that's just not, that's not okay. Any great ones yet? No great ones today, unfortunately. Hey Carson, how's it going? We need a drink time for Shammy, yes. We definitely need them to bring back the chamois drink time. I don't know why they got rid of it. Maybe it has something to do with like what they do in real life, but I don't know. They could have just made it so they drink only in the super high up lakes on Tiawaroa. Bro, why are they spooking off from that? Maybe it's just barely far enough away. Ah, they shouldn't be spooking off though. They shouldn't be doing that. What do I want to do here? Maybe we got to start by fast traveling here instead. That might be the play. I don't know. How many super rares do I have? I think 15 now, right? Let's see. We got the two albino fallow. Um, we have one, two three, four red deer. We have one, two, three, four, five, six white tail. I have the caribou, I have the duck, and I have the moose. So yeah, 15 super rares. And I think all of them except for the caribou were after I started YouTube. And then the caribou was before I started YouTube. Kill count is 2,075. How to get the gun that I have? I'm using the 300 Magnum. It's part of the Yukon Valley DLC. So once you've purchased Yukon Valley, uh, the 300 Magnum will be available for purchase in the store for 75,000 in-game currency. So it's not a super cheap gun to get, but it's really good. It is very, very good. Yeah, okay, I got an idea for this tent right here. We're going to move it. A little bit closer. Nice epic shots. That's awesome, dude. That's crazy. That is super good. Boom. Okay. 
How far away is that? About 238, so we can move this a little bit closer. Because I think it's distance that I'm fast traveling from. Maybe if we move it up closer. They should still render in properly. We'll see, though. Gotta test stuff out till we get something that works. Hey, John, how's it going? How's it going, man? Hey, okay, yeah, we just got one there to shoot. Not great? Oh, no. That's not good. Uh, what's going on? If you don't want to say it on stream, you can always message me as well. Hopefully everything's going on uh, going okay. Got three rares and 60 kills. Dude, that's crazy. That is insane luck. I rarely have anything like that happen. That's wild. Oh no, John. Oh, dude. I'm sorry to hear that. I know you've had Zeus for a very long time. That sucks, man. That sucks. Definitely not fun. Hey, TDK, how's it going, dude? How late will I be streaming? Um, at least another hour. Probably two hours. I just want to get done before nine. Yeah, Zachy, TTK did get mod here too. What's your definition on the term run? Um, going through each of my zones that I hunt. So for example, I start here. I shoot two different zones, go here, two more zones, go here, two more zones, then I go here to the final zone. That would be the end of a run for me. Because at that point, I'd just be going to the beginning, uh, back to the first lake I hunt. So that is what I consider a run. Anything good? We got a few diamonds, uh, Dylan, but no rares, uh, no... Super rares, no great ones. Hopefully we'll get something nice soon. Finally, we can take down this five. He's been very, very, very stubborn. I need him to go broadside, but... You know what? Screw it. We're gonna do it. <laughs> He's being stubborn. He didn't want to turn for me. Oh, oh, oh gosh. And ran over over here. That one spooked. Ah, it's so weird. Oh, wait. Wait, what? 262? For a max weight? That's wild. Yeah, it sucks, man. At least you had 11 years. That's at least a good amount of years. Still sucks, though. Still not fun. Only 28 kills in the fallow grind. Nice, Mr. Elk. Hopefully, uh, you'll have a short grind, man. You came back really small, sir. Is the new pie vault only for fallow? Each uh, animal in the game has different pie vault patterns, right? So, 
Yeah, if, uh, if one animal gets new pie balls, that doesn't mean the others are. Is it bad if I accidentally kill a doe in a fallow grind? Um, usually no. I've shot lots of does during this grind. However, if you shoot too many does, like in a short amount of time, sometimes they'll, instead of returning to the same spot, they'll end up creating a brand new herd with a couple of your buck respawns. Which isn't exactly ideal. Because then it just ends up spreading things out more than what is preferred. How late will I be streaming tonight? One to two more hours. Look at that little feller. I've shot 60 great ones, you're trash? Yeah, but... I'm getting paid to shoot great ones. Essentially. So... I don't care how many great ones I have. I'm just enjoying being able to do what I want to do. Because everybody here gives me the privilege of being able to do it. So thank you to everybody. And especially thank you to the haters. You motivate me. Yeah, no problem, Robert. Always happy to help, man. 177, 159. Haters are the motivators. You know it, TTK. You know it. Hey, just like my Discord status says, a great one a day keeps the haters in my DMs. All right, we got two respawns here. Beautiful. Ma'am, don't even think about it. Uh, Sky, thank you for the super chat. Really appreciate it. Hope you're doing great. Thank you for that super chat. Absolutely massive support. Holy. Got my first time in Mallard today after 2,754 kills. Holy dude. That's crazy. That is wild. Love the vids. You're an inspiration for a lot of people. Thank you, dude. I really appreciate that. It's uh, always awesome to hear when you guys enjoy the content because I enjoy making it. So it's awesome that you guys enjoy watching it. Because without y'all, I wouldn't be able to do it. Oh my god. What map am I doing this grind on? We're currently on um Tiabaroa. How's the little one she learned to hunt diamonds and open knives on CSGO yet? Ah, almost, man. She's getting big so fast. It's crazy how quick they grow up. Like my gosh. She's, uh, she's able to form, like, full sentences now. It's, uh, it's crazy. It is just absolutely wild. Okay, nothing at either of these zones. I still need to find out why they spook sometimes when we do the tent trick and why they don't other times. It's so weird. Feels like just yesterday. I know, right? Crazy, man. Crazy. How old? Uh, she turned two in May. So she's a little bit over two years old. Two more small males. Well, one small male, one mid-sized male. Should I shoot the threes on my fallow zones? Uh, you do want to shoot the majority of threes, yes. The only threes I don't shoot are ones that are probably going to score like 130s or lower. So, if this guy right here was not in a main zone, 
if he was in like one of the zones that I'm trying to shoot down. Oh, actually, this is a 150. So this is one that I would shoot regardless. But if it's below this, then I leave it. Unless it's in one of my main zones. Five years tomorrow, John. Jeez, that's crazy. Time flies by for sure. Just insane. I mean, we've known each other for like, what, nine plus years at this point then? Eight or nine plus years? I'm trying to remember what year it was that... <sighs> what year was it that we met in that CSGO match? It had to have been when I first got a PC. I think it was shortly after I had got my PC. A long time ago, regardless. 10 to 11? Maybe. Let me think. Oh, hey. There's one we can smoke. You think you were 16? Yeah. That seems about right. No. No, because, um... I didn't actually start doing online gaming until I think it was like, I know I was 16. I was like 16, I think about to be 17, maybe like 16 and a half. I think it was about then. I feel like it was like summer. I think it was summer. Summertime when I was like 16 years old. So that'd be like 2014, right? Gosh. Getting old enough to where it's hard to remember exactly how long ago things have been. I'm only 25. Like, oh. How difficult is it going to be in 10 years to remember this stuff? It's going to be crazy. <laughs> I mean, I think I could just look at the age of my Steam account and probably get a pretty good, pretty accurate representation of when it was. Because I met you within a year of playing games on, on PC. It gets worse? Yeah, I can only imagine. I have a question about HM. What is the kind of stages of stacking and saving up them low levels? Should it be, or that I should be confident my fellow will give consistent diamonds? You want about 70% of your map to be the low levels, regardless of the species. You want about 70% of all of your males to be whatever the low level is for that species. So for fallow, about 70% or more of them need to be twos or small threes. That's kind of like the baseline I go by about 70%. And that's when you'll start seeing like an increase in diamonds. Like maybe one in every 30 kills will be a diamond. And then you can take it even further if you want to increase the kill to diamond ratio even more. No, it wasn't albino. That was the white fur variation. Uh, that skin you cannot get anymore, uh, Gloom. It was an Easter special. I think you had to get it within two weeks of, uh, the release of it for, like, an Easter special. So it was a limited edition thing that cannot be got anymore, unfortunately. Internet upgraded. have one gig upload and download now. And I'm on Fiverr. My gosh, Sean. You are, you are now officially... The one with the better internet. I remember for the longest time, I was always the one that had, like, slightly better internet. I don't even think we can get fiber out here.
far as I know, I don't think fiber's available here. Um, the grind's been decent, Bobcat. It's been a little bit long. We're at 2,097 kills now. So, grind number five has not been as short as the other grinds. But to be honest, my first four were really lucky. So, I deserved a long grind eventually. It was bound to happen. How many rares have I had on this grind? Uh, let me look. I've had 16 rares in total. 14 of them have been just this grind alone. Which is wild. Got my 11th dime with 110 kills. Dude, 11 diamonds and 110 kills. That's like a diamond every 10 kills. That's crazy. That is some insane, uh... That is some insane luck. Like, even with herd management, that would be crazy good. Yeah, Mixie. Hopefully, we'll get one soon. It's been a while. I feel like we have to be close. Like, there's no way we aren't at least somewhat close, right? Probably just wishful thinking. The only one herd is here. You know, honestly, I could do our little, uh, like, blind setup here. That would actually be really good. I think we'll set up a blind here. Because that hill has a nice downward angle, which means it should be perfect for it. Nice, Austin. That's awesome, dude. 11,000 kills, though. Oh, my gosh. That's a lot of kills, dude. It's my favorite rack, though. Nice. Yeah, the typical rack is so beautiful. I want one so bad, man. I do want one so badly. Oh, this is perfect. Oh, that's going to be so much easier. Ah, we'll see how it goes, Zacky. Hopefully you get something good out of it. I swear to God, if you get another typical rack before I get one, though. <laughs> uh, 164. Um, I make a little bit from the Fallow Grind linked, but I spend a lot of the money I make from shooting Fallow on time resets and ammo, so... I don't make a ton. In fact, right now, I think I've lost some from the last couple days. But I'm not really after, like, any increase in profit for the fallow grind. I just want to get great ones. I'm willing to time reset a million times if it means they get to their zones more reliably. Hey, Kevin, how's it going? How you doing, man? Hope you're doing good. And, uh, Connor, thank you for the super chat, dude. How many kills and what did I miss? We're at 2,099 kills, and the only thing you missed was some basic, uh, average scoring diamonds. Nothing too crazy or wild. Not a typical, it's the Scarecrow Rack. I, I don't know what the Scarecrow Rack is, to be honest, Austin. I didn't actually know that anybody called a rack the Scarecrow Rack. Twenty six mil now, Chope, that's crazy. I probably would have over twenty five mil in the game, but I reset the time so much that I just use all my money for time resets. Like, the majority of my cash just goes straight to time resets. It is what it is, though. Anything for speedy grinds, I guess. 
Gotta do what you gotta do. Hey, Dynamic, how's it going? Kevin with the super chat. How's it going? Let's get some hype stickers going in the chat. Oh, yeah. Let's do it. Let's get the hype flowing. We need the hype. We need to get the, the hype going so the great one will be showing. Thank you once again, Kevin. Really appreciate it. Goodbye, ma'am, 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 and ma'am. Nice, Haley. Hopefully you get it pretty quickly. Hopefully it'll be a short and lucky grind for you. All right, let's check here, see if any have straggled off to that side. How's the grind going? It's going really good. Yes, run and rotation are the same thing. Just a different word for the, the same thing, you know? Some people call it a run, some call it a rotation. I just call it a run. Babel painted with the blade rack. Oh my gosh, dynamic. I'm jealous. I'm jealous. That's such a good combo. I would love to get one of those. Okay. No shootable males. Okay, so nothing has ended up going over here. That's very good to know. What's the great one that I want the most? I just want to get like a fabled mocha blade rack. What did you miss? Uh, you didn't miss too much, Zachary. Just a few diamonds. No giant diamonds, though, unfortunately. No males there. Uh oh, my mouse is about to die. I gotta plug it in. Okay. We're good to go. Jackson, thank you for the super chat, dude. Shot my first great one last night. Nice, dude. That's awesome. Congrats, man. You love to see it. You love to see it. Oop. Just one, eh? Yeah, just one. Not the black bear? No, to be honest. Oh, you're talking any great one. I thought you were talking about of the fallow. Um, of any great one, I want the typical rack whitetail more than anything. Chief, thank you for the uh, super chat. Really appreciate it. How long did it take me to get the albino lion? I mean, my first one that I found, I wasn't really looking for them, so... I didn't really count it. I was just doing multiplayer hopping, looking for a diamond lion. And I ended up finding the albino from what I remember. How grindy am I feeling tonight on a scale from E to Mega? Uh, gosh, what would be, what would be in between? Like, I, I guess extra, extra grindy? Like, I'm not going super insane with it. I'm not trying to, like, get new records of kill counts every single hour, but... Feeling like, you know, I'm, I'm trying to keep up the pace. It's more of like a a chill a chill competitive grind if that makes sense still trying to get decent uh decent kills per hour but i'm also trying to read as much a chat as i can
Imagine a great one lion. That'd be crazy. That'd be awesome. It won't let you accept your roles in Discord. Are you reacting to the, uh... Are you reacting to each of the posts in the role channel? In the roles channel with the proper emote that it says to use? How many zones do I have? Like 37 or 38. Somewhere in that range. I don't have a ton of them. Because a lot of my solos bunched up in the same zones with each other. That's huge. Oh my gosh. That's a white fur type big rack. Oh, this could be a 270 white fur type. It totally could. Look at him. Oh my gosh. That could be a monster. Please. Please give us the 270 big rack white fur variation. Oh my gosh, that'd be so good. I hope it is. That would be just an amazing diamond to get. That's looking kind of good. It's decently wide. I don't know if it's going to make 270 though. I'm going to say 267. That's a beautiful fallow deer though. Ah, 267. I was right. Uh, that might be my biggest white diamond, though. Do we tax it? I don't know. We're probably going to eventually get one bigger. And then it'll be kind of a waste to have taxed this one if we get a bigger one. I don't know. It's not like I'm going to have room to display it. Unless it's like a 270 plus or a 269 or something crazy like that. So it'll probably just stay in my trophy manager and never get put anywhere. So I don't know if we should. I kind of want to save it for like a 269 plus white or chocolate. We'll save it. We'll save harvest. And then uh, if we don't get anything bigger, we'll come back and tax it. How about that? That way it's not gone forever. What is rare for a fallow deer? Uh, piebald, albino, and melanistic. They are all the rares. Oh no, Kevin. Rest in pieces, dude. Feels bad. <laughs> that doesn't sound fun. That don't sound fun at all. Can I click, please? There we go. I'm going to try something and see if this uh, spooks them less. Really curious if maybe I just need to de-render them first before I fast travel. I'm going to do a test. I don't see our respawn there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to run back a little bit further. Or maybe we need to run closer. Actually, we have extra tents, I think, so. No, we don't actually. Oh, man, what am I doing? We're going to test something. We're going to try fast traveling from, like, up here. And see if that ends up uh, still spooking off this group. We just got to try different positioning. Because I feel like when we're closer, they don't spook off as much. So I'm wondering if I just put the tent up here. Shoot that zone, fast travel. Shoot that zone, fast travel. Maybe that'll be the best way to do it. I've got a couple extra tents that are just placed uh, like right here and right here. I don't need those there. I was just keeping them there to shoot down the solos last night. So let's, uh, let's mimic a typical run if I have a tent here. Boom. Buck dead. Now let's see. Does it spook this other group? When we fast travel. If they're running when we look over, then it didn't work. Hey, it worked. <laughs> okay. I know what to do then. Let's go grab this tent. So it looks like if the zones are too far away, 
then they can still kind of spook whenever you do the tent trick where you place the tents on top of their zones. So the zones do have to be within 300 of each other, it seems. Maybe even closer. Because, like, over here, they're much closer together than right here. That's got to be it. What's max score for Fallow? We don't know yet because they recently got a rework to their true racks, and the biggest one we've seen is just over 270. So we're thinking maybe it's around 270.5 or whatever, but somebody could end up finding a 271. It's still really early in the update. That was a long time ago, Charger. They can't reach that score anymore. They did a complete rework to the true racks with this last update, so all the scores that you used to be able to get are completely different. So any pre-update fallow, it'll probably be no longer possible to reach the 276 score. Right now, I have yet to see one break 271 with the changes they made. Which is pretty wild. Perfect. Beautiful. Yeah, this is going to work out pretty good. We can just shoot it from here. Fast travel down here. Shoot this zone. Fast travel over there. That'll be great. That should work out really good. Do you have Truex Springbok? No, I haven't hunted them yet because I'm pretty disappointed with what they did for Truex Springbok. They made them so small. I don't know why they downsized them when they added true racks, because in real life, they actually should be bigger. Great one, Fallow aren't real, at least on my map. That's how I feel about the bears. I feel like the Great One Bear is not real sometimes. You think there are great one fallow half racks? Maybe. Nobody's got one yet, but that doesn't mean it's not possible. I think it took a, a week or two for the first moose one to show up, so could be a thing. I'm going to go grab a drink real quickly, guys, and aim the AC towards me a little bit more. I'll be right back like two minutes, maybe three minutes at the most.
Ba-da-ba-ba-da-ba-ba. We're back. Do you have a grind on Hirsch? I do. It's for my no DLC playthrough though. And I haven't been uh, focusing super heavily on it because I've been trying to get uh, my favorite combination for the Fallow Great one on my main account first. Oh, you didn't miss too much, Evan. A few diamonds. We actually just got a pretty nice uh, white fur type diamond. I think that's been about all you've missed though. With your luck, you'll get it on no DLC. I know, right? That's what I was thinking too. Like, I'll probably end up getting my favorite combo on the no DLC playthrough. That would be my luck. <laughs> How's that guy not dead? Surprised he didn't drop. Bro, it's a tank, I know, right? Tanking everything. That guy didn't tank anything, though. <laughs> Rest in peace to him. Please don't spam cars. Spamming's just gonna get you timed out because it's against the rules to spam an absurd amount. You gotta understand, man, it's... It's rude to just spam because it makes it hard for other people to get their messages seen as well. If I look down in chat and half the messages are the same thing repeated over and over again from the same person, then, you know, that's half a page worth of messages from other people that get pushed away and I'll probably never see. So, you know, in the future, just calm down with the spam. I want to be able to see everybody's messages. But hi, how's it going? What the? Where did... Where did you come from? The third one just popped out of nowhere and it was a five. <laughs> this is the only zone where I have bucks just pop in out of nowhere. That's crazy. Knowing my luck one of these days, a great one's gonna do that. And then you know for a fact there'll be comments like, it just, the great one just popped out of nowhere. I bet he spawned it in. That'd be like the most unfortunate timing. Like if you had a, a great one do that little spawn in glitch. Well, it's not really a glitch. It's just he didn't render in, but still. Oh, that, oh, that's big. Okay, that's mid rack. I thought that was the troll. I wouldn't have took that risky shot if I had known this was mid rack and not the troll rack. Oh my gosh. That was a... Oh, gosh. Oh, joking a little bit. That was a uh, very risky and lucky shot. <laughs> That's crazy. I can't believe we actually made that. That's insane. Since I'm already uh, over here, it's going to take too long to walk back over. We'll just shoot it without the stand. Hey, David, how's it going, man? Hope you're doing good. Sometimes you just have to gamble. Pretty much. Sometimes you just got to take those risky shots. Because, you know, just the, the fact that it could end really well and be crazy, that would be... That just makes it amazing. Hey, MH, how's it going, dude? Favorite DLC. 
I don't know, out of every single DLC in the game, that would include like DLC maps, right? We're talking like, if I had to pick one DLC only to say that it's my favorite, I'm going to think it, think of it in the sense of, if I could only buy one DLC. Uh-oh, which is which? Okay, that's definitely the one that we have to leave. That's from the herd. Um, man. There was only one DLC that I could get. I mean, yeah, it would have to be a trophy lodge. Like, it would have to be the Sasiki Safari Trophy Lodge. Because... Without a good trophy lodge, there's so many animals you cannot display. Like, the free trophy lodge only gets you so far. Because, like, the maps, I can play those in multiplayer for free, even if I don't own them. But yeah, I'd say that my favorite DLC would have to be Sasiki Safari. If I could only pick one. Man, when you think about it in that context of, like, if I can only get one DLC... What would I pick as a way to, like, choose your favorite? Really, like, narrows it down. Because, like, in the past, I've always said, like, you know, Modern Rifles Weapon Pack or, like, the Tense DLC or the Tripod DLC. But when you think about it, the Trophy Lodge is kind of a necessity. The free one can only get you so far. That was a really good run, by the way. We had three, uh, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten different fallow deer down. Nice. That's really good. Really, really good. Hey, Yon, how's it going, man? Welcome back. To start a white tail grind about 500 kills in 12 diamonds no rares hopefully a great one soon hopefully man hopefully you have a short grind ahead of you that's a dime that is a diamond rack right there if i've ever seen one Come on. One of you needs to turn all the way. Okay, I was hoping it'd be the five. But I, I meant both of you need to turn. That's what I meant. No way. He's just gonna... You know what? Beautiful. Nice dynamic. Hopefully you will, man. Beautiful. I think you should have been able to pay for the free lodge and not force to put base animals in there. But the reason they added a free lodge was so that players could have a place to display the base game animals. Without being forced to purchase a DLC lodge, right? However, I think something I could add on to that. I think the current Leighton Lakes Trophy Lodge should be free as is, right? However, I think there should be a paid option to increase the uh, storage of, uh, like, the amount of mounts that are in it, right? Like, maybe it's free if you just want the base stuff that's in it currently but maybe you could pay like 299 to get mounts in all of the other rooms in that lodge that aren't limited to specific species i think that would have been a pretty good route to go because it's a beautiful lodge but i mean i don't really use it because i can only display one of each base game animal and they have specific mounts they have to go on Got you, Luke. Okay. Gotcha. That makes sense, then. 
Another time. Well, we're definitely popping the fives like it's nothing. Now, if only we could be popping the uh, great ones like it's nothing. Or maybe another super rare. I, I definitely would not complain about another super rare. In fact, I would like that very much. What do you guys think? Are we getting another great one or another super rare first? Am I going to get another super rare before a great one or will our next big trophy be a great one? I think we're missing a couple deer. Go, super rare, super rare, go, go. Super rare, great one, super rare, great one, great one. I mean, so far it seems pretty split. The opinions seem pretty split on which one I'll get first. Honestly, at this point, I don't even know. We have had such insane super rare luck recently that... Would not be surprised if we get another super before a great one, just because of how weird this grind has been. Uh, we're now at 2,119 kills since our last great one fallow deer. And we've already had two supers this this uh, grind, so... Okay, now it's not quite as uh, even. Looks like a lot of people are saying great one. I could definitely see that, I guess. You know, it is more likely to get a great one than a super rare. That's for sure. No, I'm not going to do a poll for it. I don't really need to do a poll for it. I just wanted to get a quick, like, opinion from you guys on it. On which one you think I'll get first. Cooper, thank you for becoming a member again. Really appreciate it. Welcome back. Hope you're doing amazing. Hope you're doing super good. You're thinking great one, but a super rare before the next great one bear? <laughs> or before we get a great one bear? You're probably right there, because I'm going to be grinding these fallow a lot. Can someone put up the member link? Uh, yeah, one of the members can drop the, the member command there. What do I think the next map will be? I'm hoping for Africa 2.0. That would be my pick, at least. Um, I would also love a Texas Game Ranch. So I hope that's what they go with. One of those. That is a guaranteed troll. Well then. Wait, where'd the first one die? Where did he die though? I don't see him. Uh, <laughs> disappearing deer, I guess? How many more hours will I be streaming? A decent bit more. What the? Dude, where'd he go? Um. I shot him, right? Um. I, th I feel like I did. Cracking blood? Oh, he's up there. It must have been vertebrae. That had to be a vertebrae hit. I was so confused. I was like, where did he die? Yeah, vertebrae. 240. Wow. <laughs> That's crazy.
Sorry, guys, I had to talk to my wife for a second. All right, let's go pop these. Oh, definitely, Parker. They could. They could make a lot of Africa maps. They definitely could. Tons of variety there. I mean, just with antelope species alone, they could make a million maps. Which is crazy to think about. Just with the antelope species alone, they could make multiple maps. Crazy. Uh, Steven, thank you for becoming a member, dude. Really appreciate it. Enjoy all the perks that come with that. The emotes, extra Discord channels, scrapped uploads on the channel, and all the other cool stuff. Thank you so much. Really appreciate it. First great one, Moose, and six kills. Dude, six kills. Oh my gosh. That is next level insanity. Crazy, man. Are Kudu a bad grind at all? Considering they're at night, for the most part, yes. They kind of suck. And I think they're all along the coast, primarily, and then some of the, some of the lakes. Uh, they've got a very similar home range to Cape Buffalo, from what I remember. But the fact that they're at nighttime is kind of rough. I definitely don't recommend it, but hey, if you wanna if you wanna go for a challenge, then might as well, right? Might as well go for it if you want a challenge. One, two, okay, that's a good one. Welcome back, Sam. Welcome back. Hope you're doing good, sir. Honestly, with how long this grind has been going, I think I'm going to do more off-stream grinding tonight. Hopefully it doesn't spawn at like 2 a.m. Like the super rare did because that would be quite unfortunate if I didn't get a normal reaction to it. But with how long this grind's been, I just feel like I need to be grinding 24-7 in order to get it to pop. If I want to get it in any reasonable amount of time. I got a feeling this is going to be a 3,000 plus grind. I just feel like it's going to be a 3,000 plus one. Which would be kind of crazy considering how quick most people get these. Hey, JC. Screaming in lower caps at 2 a.m. <laughs> Literally. I mean, you guys saw the reaction to the uh, super rare that spawned at like 2 a.m. <laughs> I was like doing my best like whisper reaction like, holy... Holy! Uh, Drip, thank you for becoming a member, dude. Really appreciate it. Enjoy all the perks that come with that. Emotes, extra Discord channels, scrapped uploads on the channel, all the other cool stuff. Thank you so much. And Steven, thank you for the uh, super chat. Really appreciate it. Whoa, 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 whoa. Two bucks here. What? Wait, no. No, no, no. That's the solo. Don't shoot that. Don't shoot that, Crow. Gosh. Uh, what should I do about zone only spawning does? Uh, you can just leave it. Usually if they just spawn does, as long as you don't shoot anything out of there, like if you don't shoot anything else, it should just never get bucks again. And in that case, you could just move on and ignore the zone forever. But let's say it's a zone you really like. Something you could do is shoot a couple of the does during one of your normal runs, and there's a possibility that a couple of the bucks you kill from other areas will swap with the does and go to that zone. But it's not a guarantee, so...
Where's the join button? It should be next to the sub button, if I'm not mistaken. If you don't see it, you can also use that link that's in chat right now, or the link that is in the description of this uh, stream. Both will work. When should I shoot my stack level fives? Whenever the rest of your map is shot down to twos or small threes. Uh, the only purpose of stacking fives is to shoot down the rest of the map faster because uh, the fives kind of offset some of the herd management to make it so it's easier to get small ones. Got a couple of them there. That guy is like right behind everything. Is there a way to combine zones? Yes, there is. In fact, I did that recently with a few of my zones. Oh, you're so lucky. You lucky duck. I mean, you're not a lucky duck because I just shot you twice, but luckier than the other one. Actually, probably not as lucky because he didn't die instantly, so he's less lucky. <laughs> ah, that's what you get for running away. Accept my bullets. Uh, but anyway, yeah, there is a way to combine zones, so the way that I did it was, let's say this uh, zone, I used to have two zones right here, right? So what I did was I shot some of the does out of them until I got tier four hunting pressure, so just needed to kill four does out of the two zones that were here, and it ended up deleting both of these zones. One of the herds merged with this one, and the other herd came back to the same spot. That's really the only way that you can do that. The only way to merge herds is to delete one of the zones and just hope that it goes to the same spot as another. So what I would do is try to find a zone that's close to the one that you want it to merge with. And then just repeatedly delete that zone till they end up in the same place. As far as I know, I've never seen more than two herds have the same zone. So I wouldn't try to get like three herds in one zone. As far as I know, that can't really happen. At least in my experience, so the most you can really get is two in the same zone. Johan, thank you for the eight months. Welcome back. Hope you're doing amazing. What have I missed? You missed a few diamonds, uh, double B. No rares or great ones yet. Couple of nice fours there. <laughs> no great one though. We'll get it eventually. What's the kill count? 2,133. Two eighteen, two eighteen. Wow, they were both two eighteen. Crazy. No, Lemon. I use a grinding method called herd management, that has been uh, approved by the developers as well, as okay to do. You essentially load the majority of your map, about seventy percent of your males from a species. Uh, you get, you try to get seventy percent of uh, the males from one species to. As low of a level as possible, essentially. So for Fallow Deer, we've got about 70, maybe even 80% of our map at this point. Down to level 2s and small 3s. And what that does is it makes the remaining animals spawn as level 5s much more often. So essentially, it is the most efficient way to get lots of trophies while still playing the game 100% legitimately. Which is why you see so many people using it. 
Pretty much anybody that's trying to make the most out of any grind uses herd management. If they're just trying to like maximize the amount of trophies they get. Speak of the devil, there's a trophy. Probably a guaranteed troll though, as far as I can tell. Very unlikely that that one will make it. How do you get so many diamonds? Exactly what I was just talking about, Hudson. Herd management. As far as we know, the way it works is because you load your map with so many low levels, the game is essentially trying to compensate for the amount of low scoring males by spawning in higher scoring ones to make up for it. Think of it like, uh, ah, what was the best way I've heard somebody just describe it? I can't remember if it was I buy or if it was Jaxie that explained it like this on stream once, but think of it this way. Think of it as you're getting so many low levels on the map, right? That it's creating like a massive like gap in like the score or whatever. And so it's got to find a way to like fill that gap up. So it does that by spawning diamonds. That's the like easiest way to explain it. You'll probably also notice we're only hunting like seven zones. That's because the rest of the map is shot down to low levels. I accidentally hit that doe. I hope she doesn't die. This is a big rack right here. Please be... Ah, 265. Not quite 270. So we're not going to tax him, but that's a good one. I want to get main menued before that doe dies. <laughs> Rent one permanently. <laughs> That is hilarious, Sam. That is the, that's the best way I've ever heard anybody word that. Yeah, exactly, Lemon. That's the reason that herd management is like so widely used by the hardcore grinders. It gets you insane levels of level fives, which means in turn with more fives showing up, you have more chances for super rares, right? Because if you do get a rare fur type to spawn, much higher chance it's going to be on a five if you've got an increased amount of five showing up from herd management. It is uh, quite an insane way to grind for trophies. And then like along the way, you're going to get great ones inevitably. There's also some people that suspect that maybe herd management affects great ones as well. I'm kind of torn on it still, but I think it probably affects some of them maybe. But either way, the primary reason I do it is for the increased chance of super rares. Because I, I love the way the super rares look. And normally it's like a 1 in 30,000 chance of getting it. With herd management, it's more like a 1 in 6 to 1 in 10,000 chance. Which is still not like very good odds to get a super rare, but it's better than it would be. But I guess when you think about that, still not super great odds like 1 in 10,000. <laughs> And obviously all those numbers are approximate. Oh yes, yeah, Sam. I've had a few where I thought they were larger than they actually were. They are quite shocking to see sometimes. You're also like 1 in 20? For diamonds, I'm assuming? Because I was referring to the odds of, like, getting a super rare. Because the way that I get that number, right, is... From what I've seen, a rare seems to be about 1 in 300. And getting a diamond with herd management is anywhere from 1 in 15 to, like, uh, 1 in 30, depending on how good you're doing herd management and how far you are into it. And so it comes out to about, um, about 1 in 6,000 to 1 in 10,000, depending on how far you are into it. Do I know how many diamonds I have? Uh, yes, I've got a counter at the top right of the screen. I have 2,863 over the course of, like, 5,800 hours playing the game. Uh, with a lot of those coming from herd management grinds. 
I think before I started doing herd management, I only had like 600 diamonds. And then since we started doing herd management with the red deer, white tail, uh, bears, a little bit with moose, and now with fallow, it has skyrocketed that number over the last like few thousand hours of playtime. Hey, come on. She is like perfectly synced up with him. <laughs> Oh, man, that's crazy. What's the chances of a great one spawning? That's something nobody knows. Great ones are something that has really been kept secret by EW. They don't really want people knowing what the spawn chance is. And nobody's been able to find out what the spawn chance is either. Which is kind of crazy considering, like, people have dug through the files and found the spawn chances for everything, except Great Ones. Great Ones are the only one that is still a mystery completely. It's crazy. We're about to be Tokyo drifting on these uh, fallow deer with this music. Does Jaxie work with EW? He is the community manager for Expansive Worlds, so yes, he does work for EW. I uh, know the great one is on all platforms. You can get it no matter what you play on, and the chances of getting it are the same on PC and console. So wherever you play, you can get them. Only one herd? Vibing, I know, right? Getting into that grinding. What is the chance of getting one? Like a great one? We don't know the exact, uh, we don't know the exact odds. However, we got like estimates based on people's grinds. An average grind for fallow deer is 500 to 1500 kills. Average for moose is the same. An average for whitetail is between 1000 and 2000. Average for red deer seems to be 2 to 3000. Average for bears seems to be about 2 to 3000 as well. But we don't know exact uh, spawn chances for them. Just kind of estimates. How do you start a great one grind? So as long as you're shooting males from a species that can have a great one, you're technically working towards a great one, right? Like you're technically got a chance of a great one spawning. Anytime you shoot an animal or a male of a species that has a great one. So if you shoot fallow deer, whitetail, black bear, moose, or red deer males, there's a chance that one of them could come back as a great one. Um, if you want to know more about like setting up for a grind, I would recommend checking out my guides playlist on the channel. I talk quite a bit about herd management for different species in uh, those guides. It should should be packed with tons of information to help you get started. Hey Lost Gaming, how's it going, man? You think there will ever be a Call of the Wild 3? I mean, we're still on Call of the Wild 1. That's thinking real far ahead. <laughs> I don't know, maybe. With how popular and successful this game is, I imagine they're going to support it for a long time, but I'm sure eventually they'll probably make a new game. I mean, Classic, they eventually made a new game, which was The Hunter Call of the Wild. But for a while, Classic was the only game they had. So, I mean, it's possible we could get another one in the future. Definitely possible. But I got a feeling they'll probably support this game for 
quite a while longer as it's still very popular. There was also Primal for a bit, true, but Primal was a little bit of a different take with it being dinosaurs, so it didn't hit the same audience. Primal was a fun game though, man. It was fun. What is HM? HM stands for herd management. It's just like the acronym for it. Man. When are we going to get this great one, guys? It's been so long. Uh, for 2,148 kills since great one fallow number four showed up. Great one number five for the fallow deer is really making us work for it. Really making us work for it. Though I kind of feel like I deserved a long grind. We got really lucky on the first four. What the? I didn't realize you were in the tent. Two thirty nine as well. Nice. What do you mean, Landon? I'm confused. I'm assuming there was a message before that and I missed it. What's your longest grind? My longest grind ever is my bear grind. I still have not got my bear great one after 8,200 kills. So that's my longest one. Second longest would be my red deer grind. It's the only, uh, it, it's the longest grind that I've completed is my red deer number four. It was 6.7 thousand. What is herd management? It's the method that we've been talking about, Lemon where you stack the map with low levels to make more high level spawn. It's uh it's the method that I've been explaining to you during this uh stream. That is what herd management is. Nothing spawning there. Okay. Interesting. You know why I call the wild the angler is taking... I'm assuming you mean taking so long to come out on console? Ah, uh, because I don't think it was fully, like, made. They're still, like, developing it, right? And it's supposed to come out in the summer sometime. They said it'll be after August, so... Like, September, October, sometime in that range, probably. We don't know an exact date, though. But it should be around then, I would imagine. If I were to take a guess. Are you talking about uh, Angler BM? Because that's the most recent EW title. As far as I know, I don't think there's been any others announced. I think Angler is the only one that was made recently by them and it's coming to console in the summer sometime like late summer as far as I know is there a way to get more rares unfortunately no it seems that rares have a completely random spawn so there's no way to like manage more rares or they're making a new one this year oh in that case I haven't heard of it not sure um technically like expansive worlds is owned by Avalanche Studio, right? Like, that's their parent company. So maybe Avalanche Studios is making a new game. Because they make a lot of stuff that's not related to hunting or fishing. They've got games like... The Just Cause series. They've got games like... Um... What's that dinosaur game called? That, like, dinosaur wave defense game? Forgot the name of it. But that's one of their games as well. There's 600 people, it can be hard to read them all. Exactly, YGB. Uh, to give an example of why I don't respond to every single message, 
By the time that I saw YGB's message saying he will link in, there's 600 people, it can be hard to read them all. By the time he said that, I looked up to try and find the message and it's already gone off my screen. That's why. It, most of the time, they the chat moves by so quick that I only see like maybe 25% of the messages. Because obviously if I'm shooting a deer, I can't look at the chat while I'm shooting the deer. I have to look at the deer I'm shooting. So I shoot the deer, then when I fast travel, I look down at the chat. So I'm going to miss a lot of messages. It's nothing personal. It's just not feasibly possible to see everything. Try and slow it down. I can't unless I put slow mode on. And slow mode would limit how many messages you guys could send in like a specific time, right? And it's already on slow mode. It's like a five second slow mode. If I increase it anymore, it would just reduce like, it, it would just reduce like how many messages everybody could send in a short amount of time. And I don't want to have to limit the messages that much, right? Because it probably wouldn't really solve the issue anyway, because it's not a matter of like the same person asking a lot of questions. It's like there's so many different people asking questions and uh, putting their messages in that I don't get to see all of them. So it wouldn't even it wouldn't even help me see all of them, right? It would only limit what one individual can put in uh, the chat like ever so often. But yeah, it wouldn't really even fix the issue. It's just part of being a streamer. The larger a channel grows, the harder it is to read chat. Or the harder it is to respond to every message. Oh my gosh, Dynamic. Really? 252, man? That's crazy. Where's my next great one, dude? Oh. We're at 2155. Is it better to stack your level fives? Only if you're doing herd manage. Oh, great one! Yes! Oh my gosh, Fable painted Big Rack! Oh my gosh, yes! Fabled Painted Big Rack! Oh my gosh, that's one of my top five combos! Oh my gosh! No way! Yes! Oh, finally! 2,155 kills! 2,155 kills! This is the third Great One foul I've had in this zone! This zone just gives me the Great Ones! Oh my gosh, it's so beautiful! It's so beautiful! This is one of my top combos I wanted. Oh my gosh. No way, guys. No way. No way. <laughs> oh, I'm so happy right now. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. This is... <laughs> this is insane. Oh my gosh. What gun do we use? Oh, I can't believe we actually got one of the combos I wanted this time. Yes. <laughs> Let's go. Sky, thank you for the super chat. Really appreciate it. Really appreciate the super chat. Oh my gosh. Wow. What what do we use? What gun are we gonna use, guys? Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. I gotta tell the Discord actually. What am I doing? I gotta tell the Discord. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Okay, I, I gotta back up my save file too in case we crash after we shoot it. Let's back up the save real quick. We want to be smart with this. I forgot to back up last time. And if I had crashed, it would have been gone forever. Oh, yes, oh my gosh. Holy man. Oh my gosh. W combo, I know it's so beautiful. That's the combo. 
That's like top five combos. Honestly, top three probably. That's probably a top three combo for me. I like that a lot. Like, oh my gosh. Okay. Save is backed up. Save file is backed up. So now if we crash while we're walking up to it, we'll be good. Oh my gosh. Let's get rid of the tent. Hit him with the Creedmoor. Yes, in commemoration of the fact that I just got a 6.5 Creedmoor IRL. Let's do a 6.5 in game. I like that idea, Sam. We'll use the 6.5. I actually really like that idea. That is a great idea, man. Jeez. Let's customize it a little bit. Wow, I can't believe that. I'm going to try and make it look very similar to mine. Except, obviously, mine doesn't look quite like this. It's a little bit different. Um... Holy man. Um, uh, Dingle Boy, thank you so much for the uh, super chat, dude. Really appreciate it. Do you get more great ones with HM? Some people suspect that you do. Others suspect you don't. I'm kind of torn. I don't really know what side to believe. I think some definitely get affected, like Fallow Deer seem to. But at the same time, I just had a 2,000 kill grind, so it's hard to say. Holy... Let's get this bad boy down. What combo? Dude, the best combo I've seen yet. Fabled Painted and Big Rack. Fabled Painted Big Rack, man. It's so gorgeous. I just, I can't believe it. I want to get tons of photos of this guy. I think he deserves to get a bunch of pictures because this is like the best combo I've ever seen. I want to get some nice uh, in-game screenshots of him still alive. Wow, it's so gorgeous. I still don't have a blade rack, but this is the other rack that I really like, so I'm so happy. And this is one of my top three fur types as well. Honestly, I'm starting to like the painted more than the others. Like, I think right now it goes mocha, painted, uh, hooded, silver, and then golden. Oh my gosh. I know I'm not going to put the dog away. Uh, the dog does not spook deer. It only spooks small game and birds. So I don't need to put the dog away. Oh my gosh, he's so huge. <laughs> hey Ender, how's it going, man? We got him. We got him finally. 2,155 kills. Oh my gosh, it's so nice. I'm happy we finally got one of the combos I've been after. Finally, one of my top three combos showed up. So beautiful. Well, probably top five. I don't know if it's top three. Hey, Zachy, how's it going, man? Isn't that thing beautiful? Like, holy, look at the size of him. Dude. Oh. <laughs> yes, it's, oh my gosh. It, perfect timing with the super chat. That, that fits my reaction when I saw him. <laughs> oh my gosh. That's so beautiful. Let me respond to super chats while I inch up there. Um, Chandler, thank you for the super chat. We're twinning. Oh my gosh, you've got that too. That's amazing, dude. And Ray, thank you for the membership, dude. Let's go, Scarecrow. Great one. Hype. Oh yeah, man. I'm just... I'm so happy. This is exactly what I've been after. What, one of these... Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh, I need it in my lodge. I need it in my lodge. <laughs> One of the coolest ones I've seen. Me too, man. I'm so happy. Honestly, I don't know. After seeing this in game, this might be cooler than the blade rack. This rack is actually insane. I didn't realize how big it would look in game. This thing is stunning. Like, oh my gosh. This might take over the blade rack in terms of which rack I like the most. This is such a good combo. Like, holy... Wow. Yeah, double six we did, man. Yeah, Aquatic, we got number five. This time, 2,155 kills. 
This is our longest fallow grind so far. In fact, it took more kills than the first four combined. Worth it? 100%. This is worth it. That looks like an IRL monster fallow. I know, it looks so good. That's one thing I love about the fallow great one the most, I think, is they took a realistic approach for the most part. Like, I feel like this is believable that it could be a real life fallow deer. I could totally see this being a real life fallow deer. Just like a monster world record that you find. Lucas, thank you for becoming a member, dude. Welcome back. Holy. Look at him. Let's get lots of picks if we can. Wow, that's so stunning, man. Sam, thank you for the super chat, dude. This is my rental down payment. <laughs> thank you, Sam. And Emily, thank you so much for the super chat as well. Pass me by one great one. Nice combo, though. Congrats. Thank you so much. And that's wild. You got four great ones as well? Holy. Got to get lots of different angles. Uh, oh, try to get the tent out of there. We got to run up on this guy and try to get as close as we can. It looks like this fallow is going to be stupid. Our super rare did not let us get close, but this guy is letting us get closer. With the fallow, it's like 50-50 whether or not you're going to get a dumb one. Oh, never mind. He's going attentive. He notices something's up at 40 meters. Um, I don't think I'm going to be able to get any closer. I think I'm going to have to sprint at him if I want to get really close-up pictures. Stack it? No, this is like the best combo. I'm not going to stack it. Why would I stack it? I only stack ones where I like... I've already got them or I don't really like the combo. Oh, that's going to be such a good pick. Oh my gosh. Stop cheating? How about you just get better at the game, Easton? Learn how the game works. You know what's funny? You could instantly tell if somebody's cheating by the weights of the animals in relation to the score and the score estimates. But I'm sure you didn't even do enough uh, research to understand that, did you? What if you botch it? I'm not going to botch it. I'm going to take a ton of time to make sure I get it. So let's reset the time and then main menu. Has anyone stacked great ones? Yes, I've stacked them before. Um, I buy premiums has stacked them. Um, I think Lady might have stacked some as well. I don't know. I'm not sure if Lady has. He probably did think you were being serious, Tragic. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay. We got some insane pictures. Let's get up close and take him down. I'm so happy. Look at this combo. Holy. What is the kill count? It was 2,155. Imagine calling somebody a cheater after a 2,155 kill grind. What an idiot. Whoa, now. Don't, don't be going alert this early. Imagine, I know, right? With, like, 95% of this grind being live on stream. I think I only killed, like, maybe two or three hundred deer off stream and that was like halfway through the grind and then like 50 of them last night hey but it is what it is some people just don't understand uh, how the game works in terms of like how cheaters work in the game it's very easy to spot a cheater believe me I've had to avoid millions of them in multiplayer gosh it's so beautiful this is definitely one of my favorite combos ever. Oh, it was the same person? Yeah, he's clearly after attention then. He was clearly after attention then. 
In that case, don't give him any more attention. Don't talk about him anymore. I didn't realize he was the same person that had said that. So yeah, he was definitely after attention. Necron, thank you for the super chat. Was AFK and your stream came on? Came back to a great one? Hey, that's a great way to jump in, Necron. I can't believe we got it. <laughs> uh... Oh my gosh. How many kills do you think it will be for great one number six? I hope less than 2100. That's what I hope. But after this grind, I don't have too much faith that the next one will be any shorter. He's about 90 away. We should be able to just crouch around. Just got to make sure that we don't get within like 70 or else he'll start being alerted from us crouch walking. So you got to be careful. Thank you, Dylan. Thank you, man. That is the most beautiful great one I've seen. Oh, I'm so happy. Honestly, I want to try and get him to move out into the open. I kind of want to just shoot him from right here. I don't want to have to walk around the water to claim him or else that's just more time where it could crash. There we go. He's going down. Beautiful. Okay, don't run me over. Don't, 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 don't. Don't do it. Oh my gosh. I almost died there. I almost died. What a way to die. Um. Wow. That's so crazy. He looks so ridiculous. Dude. That's my favorite Great One combo I've seen. Uh, not gonna lie, this might be better than any Blade Rack combo I could possibly get. I love this. Number five is the best Fallow Great One we've had. Oh my gosh, man. He's so stunning. This is such a beautiful combo. I'm blown away. Oh my gosh. I could not have asked for a better combo, honestly. This might be my favorite out of every single possible combo. And I didn't even know it would be my favorite till we got it. This is just beautiful. And I love how with the painted, like, each side is different. Like, it's got different uh, placements of, like, the black blotches and the white and everything. That's so insane. Wow, man. Thank you all for being here and sharing this moment with me. This is... This is something, man. This is something. This might be my favorite great one I've ever killed. Like, of all species. What rack is this? This is known as the typical rack or the big rack. Those are the two names that uh, the community has kind of dubbed it as. It's a little bit uneven, even. Slightly uneven, yeah. Not super uneven, but slightly. I wondered if it was because if you look closely, this tine is lower than that tine. Like, you can tell there's a little difference there. Such a cool buck. Holy. At least you got one kind of typical rack? I know, right? At least I got one of them. I don't have the moose typical rack or the white tail, but we got the fallow typical. That is gorgeous. Well, guys, let's get him in the lodge. Let's get him in the lodge. Oh my gosh, I don't think I've got any spoilers this time. So I think we can just go straight in there. I don't think there's any spoilers at all. And if there is, they're definitely not like, um... I suppose that, uh, what was the word? What was the word I was looking for? If I do have any spoilers left, they weren't super important ones, I don't think. 
I think there was a couple multiplayer trophies, but they weren't anything that I hadn't already got before. So I think we should be good. I don't think there's any crazy spoilers for future videos. Uh, Ethan, thank you for the super chat, dude. I know you aren't cheating, so does everyone else. Are you the guy that literally just called me a cheater? I mean, regardless, thank you for the super chat in case you're not the same person. What do we do with this guy for now? Let's put him here for now. <laughs> wow. So, like, I got a little bit of a predicament right here. Do I put him with this great one in one of the super rares, or do I keep this mount the way it is? I kind of want to keep this how it is. I like the way that mount looks. I think we just wait till we get two more trophies for Fallow Deer that are either super rares or great ones, and then put him with them. Because I like the way the two supers with the uh, Irish L crack one looks. Oh, you're not the same one. Good. Just wanted to clarify. <laughs> just wanted to clarify, Easton. Wow. Such a beautiful combo. The painted is so much prettier in game than I thought it was. Like when we saw it on the EW stream, it was like, eh, it's kind of cool, but it's not my favorite. Now I think it's becoming my favorite. Getting to actually see it in game changes the whole perspective on what it is. And Fabled Hooded has kind of gone down a little bit. It used to be my number two. I think it's number three now, and this guy's number two. Maybe even number one. This might be better than Fabled Mocha. I'm going to have to get a Fabled Mocha to really know. But this is definitely a top one. Wow. Gosh, man. Oh, yeah, we got to raise the great one counter. Number 43. Let's go. Let's go, guys. Wow. Well, I think now is a good time to end the stream because I was going to end at 8 o'clock and it's already 7.39. So I think we'll go ahead and end it. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed. This was quite a moment to be able to share with you guys. My favorite great one that we've ever got. With the coolest fur and rack combination I've ever seen. I definitely... I'm, I'm happy with this. It was worth the 2155 kill grind. This was worth the long grind. Scaly, thank you for the super chat. Time to grief you with a bear grind now, Crow. Uh, I don't know if I'm quite ready to go back to bears, but... We're definitely getting closer, for sure. This, this gets us closer to going back to bears. I just need to get, like, one or two of the combos or one or two more of the combos I want, and then we'll go back to bears, I promise. But anyway, thank you guys so much. We will be back uh, tomorrow for another stream, but until then, thank you so much, and I will see you all in the next one. Peace!